इज द ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एनी वन इज प्रेजेंट एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक टूडे इंक्लूडिंग माई सेल्फ डिजर्व अ बिग 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 राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज वी हैव ऑल कम होम लेट लास्ट नाइट आई वॉज माई सेल्फ एट होम एट थ्री ओ क्लॉक बट वर्क इज वर्कशिप एंड वी हैव टू वर्क एंड वी हैव टू वर्क विद फुल डिसिप्लिन इट इज ओनली वन दिवाली दैट यू आर सेक्रीफाइसिंग इन योर लाइफ कोई कोई बोलेगा सर नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री है तो नेक्स्ट ईयर का दिवाली ऑल्सो तो चलो मैक्सिमम वन ईयर मोर बट वी फैकल्टीज हैव टू डू दैट एवरी ईयर टू कीप द पोर्सन ऑन ट्रैक तो चलिए इट इज अ मोमेंट ऑफ प्राइड टू सी सो मेनी स्टूडेंट आई वॉज थिंकिंग दैट देर मे नॉट बी स्टूडेंट्स ऑन द डे आफ्टर दिवाली बट वेरी गुड चलिए लेट्स गो अड वी आर डूइंग I hope you are physically as well as mentally present. So very quickly, because we've had a gap of two days, we are doing a chapter called Minimum Alternate Tax, governing section one one five GB says every company except five, except five. Five means which five? Life insurance, foreign company, yes D T W A no P, foreign company no D T W A no registration in India, foreign company presumptive taxation if opted, and domestic company new regime if opted. Except these five, every company will have to do normal income, normal tax, book profit on that minimum alternate tax, and normal tax or MAT, whichever is higher, will become its liability. Normal income will be taught in volume three, entity I computation. On that normal tax ka rates we finished. For comparison purposes, MAT ka rates also we finished with surcharge and HCC. We also finished new taxation regime ka rates, and we know that whenever we are in that new regime, then MAT is not going to be. applicable and finally we came to the biggest calculation that is book profit total 29 adjustments out of which we have completed two adjustments so far what have we studied in book profit calculation till now we are going to start our calculation with start with net profit as per accounts whichever format of accounts is applicable to you then on the add side we will have how many adjustments 15 adjustments less side pe we will be having 14 adjustments start with net profit add 15 Less fourteen together twenty nine. Other than these twenty nine, no matter how tempting, no matter how much you want to adjust the amount, you will not be adjusting that amount. Anything which is there in twenty nine will also get adjusted. For example, there is no provision to subtract other heads of income or chapter six a because chapter six a is not allowed in MAT. That was the reason why MAT came to target your profit in books. Other heads of income also have to come because MAT ka book profit contains all the heads of in come on this you directly have to apply 15% in case you have any special rate also still in book profit it is going to be 15% on the total book profit which includes all the five heads of income so we started with net profit and started learning the adjustment sabse pehle we went on the add side only if debited and you have reduced your profit what income tax add add in normal also and mat also interest on income tax add in normal also mat also same treatment but then came the difference in treatment if there is any penalty paid it is specifically disallowed in normal means under normal penalty will be added but under mat penalty will not be added correct again then we went to the less side because of the related point just like you pay interest tax and penalty you can get tax ka refund you can get interest from income tax obviously penalty you will not get to so pay me tax interest penalty all three receive me when we receive refund not taxable so less in normal and less in book profit both and when we receive interest that is taxable so normal may be still subtract because we had in ifs in mat there is no place to subtract and add separately so we will let it remain so only principal will be subtracted interest will not be subtracted and obviously penalty will not be received once again i would like to remind you add side only if debited and you have reduced your profit so fir likewise on the less side also only if it is credited if you remember If credited and you have increased your profit, then only you are going to be doing it. So if debited, you add, and if credited, you less. We are done with the first point on the add side and less side. They were related to each other, so we did them together. And there are going to be lot of such points where add and less are related to each other. But two twenty nine means two are over. So as a haste khelte, we have to do twenty seven more. Are we ready to go to the? and we required a revision of 5 minutes specially because of the gap and the importance of the chapter now that it is done let's go ahead your mind should be clear we are learning further adjustments in the computation of book profit we go back to the add side the moment we are on the add side one thing is for sure only if it is debited if it is debited means you have reduced your profit but it's a wrong debit 
so we will have to add it back we are now going to add an amount called deferred tax liability add back if debited if debited and you have reduced your profit then only you will add back deferred tax liability see we are doing minimum alternate tax and we are doing book profit and that also for companies okay so, so many a times you will see in course of this chapter concepts of accountancy because somewhere book profit means involvement of accounting okay and one such concept is what you have studied in accounting standards the concept of deferred tax sir we only know that there was something called temporary difference and permanent difference and etc etc baki what is deferred tax if you ask so i don't think that we are in a position to even answer so let me only explain to you accounts mein there is a concept called matching matching concept means if you make a pnl account you write a particular income to uska expense also you should write here means the expense should match the income the expense necessary for the income if a particular income is created to uska relevant expense also should be debited income and expense ka matching has to be done sir theek hai and then this concept applies to taxation now listen carefully what is happening in accounts we will be following accrual system of accounting accrual matlab mercantile matlab even if we do credit sales we will offer it to tax correct hai but in tax we are allowed to follow accrual or cash system whichever is our option we can follow cash system supposingly in tax we follow cash system and in accounts we follow accrual system that's the fact or the situation of the assessing so what is happening an income which is not received money is not received still it will be recorded in pnl because pnl is accrual example is your credit sales pnl mein you will record but tax ke computation mein you will not record because in tax you are following cash system of accounting understood to question is very simple is the tax liability payable in the current year is there any tax liability in the current year only if you answer this you will understand matlab it means that you have understood the previous thing that i said i repeat accounts mein we are following accrual system so we have to record our credit sales also without receiving money but tax mein we are following cash system to so tax mein we are not going to record the income because we have till now not received the money to so will we pay any tax this year nahi but what is deferred tax now understand have you recorded the income in accounts in tax your liability may come later but regarding this income whatever is your tax liability record in accounts now pay it to the government later pay it to the government later when your income is received and as per tax provisions you are offering it to tax so pay your liability in that year pay your liability as per tax provisions but in accounts have you recorded the income today to uska tax ka booking also do today so deferred tax is a liability which we record in accounts today but we have to pay to the government at a future date because it is possible that a particular income has arisen in accounts but yet to arise in tax isliye in accounts record today but in tax pay later that is called deferred tax sir humko ye sab concept concept se koi matlab nahi hai what we do is we have an excel sheet that we copy first from last year ka folder udhar present year ka folder while doing statutory audit usme we change the dates of the balance sheet the formulas are already entered so there is a table an excel table provision for tax current tax and deferred tax usme we just have to give the link of the provision and the total of provision goes to the balance sheet we only know that total provision for tax that is current tax and deferred tax goes to the balance sheet but do you understand you are debiting your profit and loss account okay and now comes the logic income tax is covered out here that took place a dispute between assessee and ao assessee said sir this tax will only include my current tax it will not include my deferred tax listen carefully that means assessee on the pnl account debit side has debited two types of tax liability current tax and deferred tax 
करंट टैक्स विल गेट एडेड इयर इन दिस पॉइंट फर्स्ट पॉइंट बट एस एस सेज द डेफर टैक्स विल नॉट कम इन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट फाइट टूक प्लेस वॉट वॉज द ओपिनियन ऑफ द ए गदेडे टैक्स मीन्स टैक्स सो दिस वर्ड टैक्स विल इंक्लूड करंट एज वेल एज फ्यूचर टैक्स हु सेड इट एयो एन एस एस सी क्या बोला सुनो आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ द एस एस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस एस सी सेज सर आई वॉज नेवर गोइंग टू मेक दिस डेफर टैक्स प्रोविजन आई एम नॉट प्लेइंग अ गेम यूर दैट जस्ट डेबिट बट डोंट पे आई वॉज नेवर गोइंग टू डेबिट दिस You know why I have debited defer tax in PNL? You know why I have debited? Because accounting standard has told me to debit. This debit of defer tax is not a choice of the assessee. It is only compliance with the accounting standard. And therefore, in the first point here, I will add only my current tax. I will not add my defer tax. I have not done any voluntary debit. and dear government don't make me do time pass first you are making an accounting standard and forcing me to debit defer tax and then you are telling it to me na pagal ki tarah na you don't say that if i ask you no that who approves accounting standard don't say icai okay icai recommends but only if government recognize it becomes accounting standard if there is no legal validity then it is as good as a guidance note and the difference between accounting standard and guidance note is that accounting standard is compulsory once adopted by government you have to follow guidance note is recommended that accounts will show a better picture if you follow the guidance note so who is finally giving legal recognition to accounting standard government government you are forcing me to debit and after that you are forcing me to add i will not add was the argument of the assc listen carefully this case went up to supreme court and assessee won the case supreme court said assessee is only complying with accounting standard and therefore here in this point deferred tax will not be covered assessee won the case means don't add deferred tax and the moment assessee won the case in the assessment year 9 10 then this point was added by way of bringing an amendment acha beta deferred tax is not covered in point 1 no problem we will cover deferred tax in point number 2 and therefore now whether it is current tax or deferred tax we are creating a separate point for that meaning thereby current tax as well as deferred current as well as deferred both tax liabilities will have to be added back and dear assessee please don't cry because immediately i will take you to the less side if deferred tax liability is debited and it is reducing profit so we will add it back but is it possible that there is some deferred tax asset which has been credited to your profit and loss account is it increasing your profit yes don't pay tax minus kar do so if deferred tax liability will be added deferred tax asset will be subtracted so we are giving you fair treatment no we are allowing you to subtract also in case it is credited so if debited normal tax or deferred tax both will be added and if credited then also normal tax or deferred tax both will be subtracted interest won't be subtracted in mat in normal also subtract in pgbp but add in iif also mat mein to we don't subtract only so understood the correlation between the add point and the less point and there are a lot of points which are like this in no time we have finished two adjustments or aise hi mazak mazak mein we have to finish 24 more Have you understood defer tax wala point? Chali, twenty four ni twenty five more total twenty nine hai. And listen, they may just look complicated because everything you are learning at the same time in one question all twenty nine can never come. I hope you understand. Okay, next. If debited is still the common point, ah, if debited means you have reduced your profit. Any kind of dividend that is paid or proposed, dividend which is paid or proposed will be added. To be very honest. it is not we are not actually going to discuss sir dividend is allowed expense ke disallowed expense rubbish question dividend is not an expense it is withdrawal of profits it is drawings of the owners can it be treated as an expense it should not be written also in pnl account 
it should be written in PNL appropriation account. But in case you have debited, so you have made a mistake. In normal provisions, we use the word disallow because we don't want to give you deduction. But here, so it is a wrong debit, and we just have to add it back. So any dividend which is paid to your shareholders has to be added back. Very very easy adjustment. Very simple. चलिए इससे related there is no corresponding point on the less side. Let me be clear. All points on add side and less side are not related with each other. Okay, so there will be some points only on the add side, some only on the. Then bloody hell, if everything was related with each other, so there wouldn't have been 15 and 14. No, then it would have been the same number. No, obviously. Okay, so dividend paid or proposed. Next point. Next point. The most important word of this point is the word provision. The point D exists only because of the word provision. If I remove the word provision from point D, point D will go away from book profit computation. Most important word, hard hitting word, deciding word is the word provision. Sir, provision for what? Correct, na? Provision for what? Provision for an ascertained or contingent liability provision for an ascertained or contingent liability sir what is contingent liability something that we expect to occur simple question my simple question do we ever record this is again knowledge of accounts. I will again and again tell you that MAT ka book profit computation specifically requires you to have knowledge of accounts, accounting standard guidance note. Sad but true, you also require knowledge of INDEX here, which most of us don't have. INDEX ka bhi adjustments are there. Okay. But little. Let me see if you know. Ye to bahut easy point hai. Contingent liabilities are not recorded in accounts. They always appear as a footnote in the notes to accounts. Do we know this? Because the liability has not yet materialized. Do we know this? So we should never write in accounts. But this assessee has written contingent liability in accounts. Identify the malified intention behind that. Why has the assessee done it? What was the reason behind recording it? So that if you debit your PNL, your profit goes down and create the liability. Debit the PNL and liability will be create balance. No, correct or no? It's a wrong debit. So we are going to add it back and obviously normal provisions maybe it will be disallowed expenditure. It is not allowed. Nahi to, to everyone will estimate that some liability is going to come and Jabra Dasti reduce that profits. We are not going to allow that. So uncertain or contingent liability. But the main word is provision. The word provision indicates that you are expecting it to arise. Supposingly you are fighting a court case. Then it's a contingent liability. You are making a provision added back. But if you have lost the case. That means it is no longer a contingent liability. In that case, it is a materialized liability. Is it possible that materialized but still outstanding and unpaid? We might pay in future. Matlab, we have lost the case. We are sure that we have to pay. But it is still outstanding. But that is a cruel basis. That is allowed. Question is not whether the payment is made or not made. Mitro, please be clear. Because if you don't understand this, you will make a mistake. Question is not whether we have made payment. It is possible. It is outstanding. An outstanding expenses ka deduction take, na, take karna is allowed. It may be possible that it is outstanding. But you don't have to check that. You have to check whether the liability is guaranteed or we are still expecting. Is it materialized or expected? If it is materialized, so we will allow you the deduction. Don't add it back. Only if it is not materialized. And this is where the importance of work comes. You are expecting it, then it is then it is not allowed. You are going to no, you are going to add it back if it is debited, not take the deduction. So be clear if the liability is materialized, then we don't add it. We add it only if it is expected. Understood the importance of the word provision out here? All of you. Chali. Next. Once again, achha, iska bhi there was no add point. Huh? Once again. The deciding word, the main word, 
provision 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 for what provision for diminution in the value of any asset some people pronounce it diminution jo tumko bolna it is diminution actually the correct pronunciation correct pronunciation diminution whatever you are comfortable meaning samajhna is more important in the previous case you increased the value of your liability and booked a loss now in the present case you are decreasing the value of your asset bas itna sa difference hai increase liability still you debit pnl decrease asset something like reserve for bad and doubtful debts is that an actual loss no you are expecting your debtors to not pay you it's a provision such provisions cannot be allowed because if such provisions start becoming allowed listen carefully tab to every businessman will say all my debtors are doubtful full debtors ko you make rdd debit claim a loss and claim deduction in tax obviously it will not be allowed so be clear if we have debited rdd expected reduction in value of asset expected main word it's a provision so it will not be allowed add back but at the same time then do we understand that if it is an actual loss and actually suffered bad debts where the debtor has not paid will that be allowed or disallowed allowed so if that is debited we don't add back in other words actual bad debts don't add because it is allowed expected bad debts that is rdd is disallowed so you will have to add it back and this makes it clear that the main word for both points was the word provision only actual dekho conclusion itna sa actual losses will be allowed expected losses will not be allowed kya bola actual losses will be allowed expected losses will not be allowed there is one more example for better understanding of this point and you know the whole picture will become very clear in your mind very simple example you purchase a land for rupees 1 lakh somewhere like an investment you expect that thode saal mein in some years the value of the land will increase and you will earn capital profits by selling the land to 1 lakh ka land you purchase what journal entry you will pass land account debit to bank account theek and immediately after you purchase the land there are some rumors about the land that every night there is a lady in white sari who comes with a candle in her hand and sings babu ji dheere chalna ha gum naam hai koi and basically the land is haunted tumbar tumbar movie was uske upar hi based na chodo chodo tum you are indian audience i know you will watch prem ratan dan payo you don't deserve good movies i know i know it's okay and there are rumors that the land is haunted okay there is a rumor of, so because of the rumors no the value of the land started falling 1 lakh ka 90 80 70 60 50. it came down to 5000 rupees because of rumors first of all if you sell your land at the reduced market price of 5000 then it is an actual loss suffered of 95000 you have to agree with this purchased for 1 lakh sold for 5000 actual loss of 95 will be debited and not added not added not added because it is only one question actual loss ke expected loss actual loss actual loss 5000 pay if sold then actual loss don't add don't add. correct but if you don't sell it then there is no loss accounting mein loss can arise only if you sell below the purchase price just fall in market price cannot be loss i purchased a share of bpcl and it has fallen but that is not a loss it is unrealized a loss it will be realized only if i actually sell at that price now you are understanding what i have said okay so because of that such as such a low value no 5000 i decide not to sell main bola 5000 ke andar land sell karke anyways i am not getting let it remain okay one day i will also go evening over there 
मीट दैट लेडी इन वाइट साड़ी आई विल लर्न अ फ्यू डांस का स्टेप्स फ्रॉम हर आई एम अ मैरिड मैन हाउ कैन अ लेडी इन वाइट सारी स्केर मी आई हैव ऑलरेडी सीन बिगर 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 स्केरियर थिंग्स आई हाउ कैन हाउ कैन वन लेडी स्केर मी वन लेडी हैज ऑलरेडी बीन स्केरिंग मी सिंस द लास्ट एट इयर्स नाउ ऑलमोस्ट ओके तो आई सर बक आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सेल इन फाइव थाउजेंड एंड पब्लिक का मेमोरी इज वेरी शॉर्ट इन सम टाइम तो दे फॉर गॉट ऑल दीज रूमर्स एंड वंस द रूमर्स वर यू नो रेस्ट इन पीस उसके बाद में द वैल्यू स्टार्टेड इंक्रीजिंग अगेन अगेन इट केम टू 10 20 30 40 इट वेंट अबव 1 लाख आई सेड बाय इट वेंट अबव 1 लाख नाउ लेट्स सेल एंड गेट रिड ऑफ इट तो सुनो फाइनली इट हैज बिकम अ प्रॉफिट इट वाज टू पेड इफ वी एट दैट रिड्यूस्ड मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ 5000 बुक अ लॉस ऑफ 95 दैट बुकिंग इज अलाउड ओनली इफ यू सेल ओवर देयर एंड एक्चुअली सफर दैट लॉस एंड इन कंक्लूजन इफ इट इज एन एक्चुअल सफर ऑफ लॉस तो डेबिट एंड डोंट ऐड but if it is an expected loss because of reduction in market value in that case we do not allow it if debited we will be adding it back and because of this the most important two things is going to be is going to be uh, in both points is going to be the word provision as far as impairment losses are concerned i think if i am not wrong accounts may they are permanent losses if if i am not correct me if i am wrong as far as the meaning is concerned the question is very simple have you actually suffered that loss matlab just tell me the meaning of this term impairment is it possible that you can convert it into profits also in future in accounting is it possible that it can later become profit if yes because some are saying yes now for this you will have to go and investigate in accounts my i am answering both cases if there is little likelihood that future may it can become a profit then it is only an expected loss till now you have not suffered the loss then you will have to add it back but then when some other students are saying that accounts may impairment ka means permanent loss it is impossible that we can ever recover anything out of it so it is actual loss and you debit and it will be allow so you first go and become clear about because some said ke yes future may profits are possible and some said that not possible okay we are not talking about generally or not generally impossible hai kya profits then it is actual loss and allowed but if there is little chance that profits can arise so you book your loss only when you actually suffer the loss so once you are clear about the accounting term yahan ka explanation is very clear if it is a guarantee that now pakka loss has become there is no scope of profit so allowed don't add and if otherwise it is only expected loss so you will have to add it back is that clear and same idea same logic same thing works once again the main word the only word the deciding word the hard hitting word is provision for losses of subsidiary company तो होल्डिंग सब्सिडियरी तो कैन आई अज्यूम यू नो होल्डिंग मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट इन एनी अदर कंपनी कैन आई कैन आई अज्यूम एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू नो होल्डिंग सब्सिडियरी का रिलेशन यस सब्सिडियरी कंपनी इफ सफर्स लॉसेस यू हैव द मैथमेटिकल ब्रेन टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट लॉसेज का बीटिंग वी हैव टू टेक बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली शेयर होल्डर सफर द लॉस एंड वी आर होल्डिंग मोर देन फिफ्टी बट नॉट नाउ सुनो This is our balance sheet. This is subsidiary का balance sheet. Our balance sheet में there is an investment which coincidentally is the share capital here. You understand? We have purchased these shares by paying a particular price. If the subsidiary suffers losses, 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 the value of these shares go down. मतलब value of my investment goes down. But it is same as the previous point. Only a fall in the value. Today it's a loss. Is it possible that कल की date पे the losses convert into profits accumulated losses are recovered and then further profits so whatever is the fall today that will go away and it can increase also just because subsidiary has suffered a loss i don't have to book the loss i will book the loss only when chalo let me tell you that also or let me see if you are able to guess or see if you are able to understand when will i book the loss market value of these shares have fallen because of losses that means the value of my investment has fallen and at that reduced price i sell it matlab my bpcl ka shares i sell today 
then it is an actual loss. Then that will be allowed. Don't add. But just because it's a temporary fall, an unrealized loss is not going to be added back. And right now, subsidiary has suffered losses. For the subsidiary, it is a loss. I will take the beating one day when I will sell my shares, not before that. And consequently, it is only a provision. And the logic still remains the same. That expected losses will not be allowed. Expected losses will be added back. Only actually suffered losses will be allowed. The only thing that all the three points together are trying to convince us is expected losses not allowed add them back. But actual losses allowed. Hai. So don't add them back. Correct? So, okay. Student understood. Okay? And student also understood that the main word in all these three points are provision. So mechanical learning no, without logic can cost you. And what happened in one of the exams? I think it was May 16 or May 17, one of these papers. We have that question in our book also. There was a question on this point. And student kaise padke gaya exam? So no. How did the student go to the provision? Provision hoi ka to add. Provision add. Provision add. Provision word ko add. There came an adjustment. Listen carefully what was the adjustment. Debited. Debited matla profit is reduced. What? Provision for gratuity to employees based on actuarial valuation. Provision of gratuity to employees based on actuarial valuation. <laughs> Students saw the word provision. Provision. Add. Add. Khatam. Khatam. Hai. When the gratuity is based on actuarial valuation, it means that the gratuity has material. Actuarial valuation matlab suno. Some of your employees have retired. You are covered under payment of gratuity. Act. You know that you have to pay them gratuity. So there is an independent advisor. Whom you tell that why I have to pay gratuity to my employees as per law. How much is my liability? Calculate karna. That guy has done that valuation and given you the amount. Now do you have to pay that amount? Correct? Eh? So what you do is. You debit your PNL account. Bula gratuity is payable. If we pay. So we credit the bank account. PNL account debit to bank account. But if it is unpaid. So what do we do? Balance sheet mein, liability side mein, we will make an account gratuity payable. We are creating a provision so that we know that we have to pay it. My question is very simple. Is this gratuity an expected liability or we have to pay it? Materialize. Materialize no. So it should be added back or not added back. Matlab, ya fir confusion nahi hona is it going to be allowed deduction? Yes. So now easy to answer. Should we add it back? No, but student provision add provision add khatam ICAI sahi khel gai you have seen sahi khel gai mean nahi koi baat nahi you understood what ICAI did some are like we are excessive sincere sir meme kya hota hai pata nahi hum to meme mein bolte we are excessively sincere students. So no, did you understand that yes, the most important word is provision. But don't fall for that word. Read the data before and after that. And think about the adjustment in, in this manner. Is this guaranteed that you have to pay? It's a pakka loss, a pakka liability. So allowed, don't add. But only if you are expecting, it is guaranteed. Nahi. It may be payable, it may not be payable. It may be a loss, may not be a loss. Then it's a provision and that will be added back. Are we now clearly understanding? Okay. So are the three points with respect to provision clear to everyone? Huh. And all the three points, there was no corresponding point on the less side. So if you observe carefully, the first two points on add and less were together related. But Last four points we have done only on the add side. Less side is feeling offended. Bula aise kaise? Hamne bhi to, hamara bhi to jaga hai. To no problem. Now we go to the less side for some time. We will learn two, three adjustments which are wholly and exclusively only on the less side. These adjustments are not there on the add side. So, aisa many adjustments are there. Only add side, only less side. 
and many are such where add and less will happen together. Now we are going to do three points on the less side. Listen carefully. Mitro, we will be doing three points on the less side. Out of the three, the first two will never, 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 never come in your exam. They have never come, they will never come. But it is there in the section. It is also there in the textbook that I have given you. Because anything which is there in the section has to be there in the textbook. And because it does not come in exam, I can't skip. Because you will find it in the book and you will say that professor ne bhagaya. Ye diwali ke din subhe the next day, subhe subhe he had come to class. Toh possibly he was not in a mood. Because if you slept for two hours, toh I have also slept for two hours only. So that is why he did not want to do that. He was not in the mood. But fact ye hai. Mere liye my classroom is the biggest festival for everything. So if I am in classroom, that is celebration only for me. Toh. ऐसा तो नहीं होगा दैट आई एम गोइंग टू स्किप थिंग्स इसीलिए डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट दे विल नेवर कम वी विल बी डूइंग पॉइंट सी एंड डी ओके बट पॉइंट ई का लेट मी बी क्लियर पॉइंट ई विल कम इन एवरी 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 क्वेश्चन आई टोल्ड यू ऑल क्वेश्चन कैन नॉट हैव ट्वेंटी नाइन इट विल हैव समय इट मे हैव सिक्स एडजस्टमेंट एट टेन इवन इफ दे आस्क वन एडजस्टमेंट नो वन they will ask you this first they will ask you this in exam then they will ask anything else this is going to come in every question if mat comes in your paper this point e will come for sure okay so first let's complete the two bakwas points where we don't have to give our time and then we finally go to the point that is going to come in all the exams correct hai chali relevant shipping income of a tonnage tax company relevant shipping income of a tonnage tax company dekho <coughs> in our volume 2 we have a chapter tonnage tax scheme it is a scheme of presumptive taxation for shipping companies we have no presumptive 44 ad ada ad ada similar scheme is given to companies in shipping business wo goods transport business hota hai na internationally उनके लिए देर इज अ स्कीम कॉल्ड टेनेज टैक्स स्कीम ओके दैट मीन कैन आई से वंस द कंपनी इज इन द स्कीम इट विल हैव टू ऑप्शन नॉर्मल और प्रिजम्पटिव विच एवर इज बेनिफिशियल नॉर्मल और प्रिजम्पटिव विच एवर इज बेनिफिशियल ये और नो बट बींग अ कंपनी प्रॉब्लम क्या मालूम है नॉर्मल टैक्स और मैट देन विच एवर इज हायर अप्लाइज एंड इफ वी फोर्सिबली अप्लाई द सिस्टम ऑफ विच एवर इज हायर यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन नॉर्मल वी आर गेटिंग प्रिजम्पटिव दैट इज बिकमिंग वेस्ट फॉर अस थिंक अबाउट इट Think about it. We were thinking normal or presumptive, whichever is beneficial, whichever is beneficial. So obviously we'll take lower. But suddenly we realize, hi, we are also a company. So here we will take whichever is beneficial and compare with mat whichever is higher. So this presumptive is becoming waste, no? So idea. Do one thing. Whatever is the profit in your accounts. that is your actual profit that is earned by shipping business that is called relevant shipping income subtract that actual profit in mat i don't know whether you have understood this profit is only that profit with which we have started our book profit calculation the net profit as per accounts and that profit only we are subtracting here or let me clip it very simple for you we want to make your book profit zero we want to make your book profit zero so what we will do we will start with this profit and whatever profit is from shipping activities subtract that profit mitro full profit is from shipping activity only that means what will be your book profit zero what will be your minimum alternate tax zero that means normal tax will be higher and in normal tax you can take as per actual or as per presumptive whichever is beneficial the idea here is to make book profit zero the full actual profit that is called relevant shipping income the actual profit of that shipping company will be subtracted is that understood indirectly some students say ke sir ye to waisa hi ho gaya na there are five companies to whom mat is not applicable it is as good as that because full profit if you subtract and make the mat liability zero so it is as good as there are five companies no life insurance business etc 
करेक्ट डिफरेंस क्या है कंपनी में भी डूइंग शिपिंग एक्टिविटीज कंपनी में भी डूइंग अदर एक्टिविटीज प्रॉफिट का फिगर विल इंक्लूड बोथ शिपिंग का प्रॉफिट वी डोंट वॉन्ट मैट तो दैट वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बट अदर एक्टिविटी के प्रॉफिट पे वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू ग्रांड दैट इम्यूनिटी तो हो सकता है देर इज बुक प्रॉफिट फाइनली Which is only this other activity का profit because this we have already subtracted from book profit. That's the whole idea out here. समझा क्या? Those five companies ना life insurance या D T W N O P those five companies को भी wanted to grant complete immunity. मतलब C A का report also not required save that money also. But this company book profit का amount might become zero, but C A का report will be required because you may always be having other activities also. Is that understood? इसीलिए we have kept it here. We say के full profit को subtract, make book profit zero, make mat zero, but we still need to see your CA report to see how much you have earned from shipping activity. Is that clear? But it will never come in exam as I already told you. And next profits of a sick company during sickness. Sick company during sickness. What is a sick company? मतलब this does not mean that you are in a group of friends where some are sick mentality people, and you are in sick company. Therefore, bad joke. सुबह सुबह it's okay. Point पे आओ. You all know what is sick company? Any idea? नहीं. तुम लोग कल तक type करेगा. सुनो मैं ही बोल देता हूँ. In India there is a law called the Sick India Steel Companies Act. Once upon a time when we were students, it was a part of CA final law syllabus. I have learnt from students only that it is deleted from law का syllabus now. Sikko Sik Industrial Companies Act deleted. You don't know it only that means it is deleted only because I think your law का portion is तो over no. नहीं तो कोई बात नहीं. Once when it will happen you will come to know whether it is there or no. Let me explain what it means. We contribute capital and create a company. So with that capital we do our initial business. Company suffering losses, losses, losses. The accumulated losses. Look at my ganda ganda ishara. The accumulated losses have exceeded my net worth. The losses are more than my net worth. That means we are a sick company. When the accumulated losses exceed the net worth, is the accumulated losses at a higher level? More than the net worth? This is a sick company. Public ka money is involved. So government wants to give you some subsidies, some grants, some benefits, some aids, so that so that the loss making company converts into a profit making company and shareholders ka money is not wasted so with government ka help dheere dheere the accumulated losses will come down 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 one day your accumulated losses will become equal to your net worth earlier they were higher but now with government help they have come down and become equal to not net worth sickness is over so what is sickness ka period that period during which your accumulated losses exceeded your net worth what is sickness that period during which your accumulated losses were more than your net worth once they become equal to it becomes end of sickness is that clear my question listen very carefully and think before you answer has the company earned profits during sickness has the company earned profits during sickness हाँ नहीं तो हाउ डिड द सिकनेस हाउ वॉज इट ओवर हाउ डिड इट गेट ओवर इट इज दीज प्रोफिट ओनली दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ गवर्नमेंट प्रॉफिट आया अक्यूमुलेटेड लॉसेज रिड्यूस 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 वन डे बिकम इक्वल दैट मीन सिकनेस इज ओवर करेक्ट और नो विल दीज प्रॉफिट बी रिकॉर्डेड इन प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट बट वी डोंट वॉन्ट मैट ऑन दीज प्रॉफिट बट वी क्या बोला मित्रो वी डोंट वॉन्ट मैट ऑन these profits because government is only helping you with benefit subsidies so that you recover your losses then government cannot levy this extra tax so what will we do we will subtract these profits these profits will be recorded in accounts but subtract them here if you subtract them here matlab mat is not going to be applicable to these profits is that clear but once again as i already told you this is also never going to come next point e and this will come in every paper we are going to give the assessing 
द बेनिफिट ऑफ ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड लॉसेस लॉजिक शुड बी वेरी क्लियर इस सेट ऑफ एंड कैरी फॉरवर्ड ऑफ लॉसेस मींस ब्रिंगिंग फॉरवर्ड पास्ट ईयर का लॉसेस एंड एडजस्टिंग अगेंस्ट करंट ईयर का प्रॉफिट्स अलाउड अंडर इनकम टैक्स प्रोविजंस वी हैव अ फुल फ्लेजेड चैप्टर सेट ऑफ एंड कैरी फॉरवर्ड लॉसेस सो व्हाट डू वी डू इन दैट चैप्टर व्हाट डू वी डू वी फर्स्ट कंप्यूट आवर लॉसेस वी सेट ऑफ लॉसेस अगेंस्ट करंट ईयर इनकम इफ नॉट पॉसिबल देन वी कैरी फॉरवर्ड एंड वी मेंटेन आइडेंटिटी लॉस ऑफ ए वाई 1819 लॉस ऑफ ए वाई नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी लॉस ऑफ ए वाई ट्वेंटी बिकॉज एवरी लॉस हैज लिमिटेड कैरी फॉरवर्ड so by following first in first out whichever was the first loss we adjusted first and most losses get eight year jaise business loss capital loss house property loss we get eight years ka carry forward but how do we do that adjustment we first compute our current year ka income suno so, no, we'll first compute current year pgbp if there is any current year ka depreciation we have to give that if there is any current year ka loss in any head we have to adjust that first after doing that we go to our brought forward losses matlab we first finish our heads of income then do clubbing of income then do set off of brought forward losses arrive at gti then give deductions that is the process of computation correct but that is ntti computation and today we are here to learn not ntti book profit or book profit ka ek fund hai once you reach this figure matlab start with net profit add 15 less 14 After this, you do not like an idiot adjust brought forward losses. That is out of question. Whatever has to be done, it has to be done within the twenty nine. Once this amount comes, you want me to do it again? Is to do add? Is it less? Karna less? Whatever be your inner temptation, you are not going to add it. You are not going to less it. Whatever be your inner temptation. Are you understanding this? So, if at all you have to adjust anything, you have to adjust within the twenty-nine, because we are not subtracting other heads. You know, book profit ke under other heads will come, all five heads will come. We are not subtracting chapter six a because mat me chapter six a is not allowed. And yahan pe aane ke baad to we will not be allowed brought forward losses also. After we reach this figure, brought forward loss not allowed. We want to allow brought forward losses to you, so we can't allow you at the bottom. we are creating a point within your book profit ka adjustments to give you benefit of your brought forward losses you understood why brought forward losses are within 29 because after 29 there is no place there is no place for capital gain other sources losses or chapter 6 and no place this is total income what is written in section 115 jb for those assessees who are covered in this chapter book profit is the total income So whatever you adjust, adjust within twenty nine. Are we clear why we have brought forward losses here? But the difference is this, Mitro. The brought forward losses will be as per books of accounts because we are computing book profit. So brought forward losses as per tax will not be taken, as per accounts will be taken. Or difference? क्या होता है पता है? सुनो. You suffer a loss in eighteen nineteen, one lakh rupees. That is your loss as per tax. Listen carefully. Then you suffer another loss in nineteen twenty, two lakh. Loss as per tax in twenty twenty one. What is your brought forward loss? Three, but that is one lakh of eighteen nineteen and two lakh of nineteen twenty. If at all you get any profit for adjustment, you do this first, then this. so in tax we have to maintain identity of losses on a year on year basis because tax me after a certain number of years the losses will lapse but accounts do not work like this accounts don't work like this accounts me 1 lakh ka loss carry forward to so yahan pe you have brought forward 1 lakh and current year 2 lakh to so fir what do you do you carry forward 3 lakh yahan pe you have brought forward थ्री करंट ईयर में टू लैख का फर्दर लॉस सफर्ड तो यू कैरी फॉरवर्ड फाइव लैख इन अकाउंट वॉट है लॉसेज ऑफ वन ईयर बिकम पी एन एल का डेबिट बैलेंस नेक्स्ट ईयर दे बिकम पी एन एल का ओपनिंग डेबिट बैलेंस ड्यूरिंग द ईयर वी विल रिकॉर्ड ऑल अवर इनकम एंड एक्सपेंसिस इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द फाइनल फिगर इज अ फर्दर लॉस सो ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड वॉज थ्री लैख एंड फाइनल इज फाइव लैख दैट मीन करंट ईयर में फर्दर टू लैख का लॉस इज सफर्ड 
तो यू कैरी फॉरवर्ड दैट फाइव लैक इन अकाउंट यू जस्ट कीप ऑन कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड द लॉसेस यूर आफ्टर यूर आफ्टर यूर एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई के यर यू आर कैरिंग फॉरवर्ड फाइव लैक दैट मीन्स इट इज ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड प्लस करंट ईयर का टोटल द टोटल कैरी फॉरवर्ड इज फाइव लैक यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी एबल टू मेंटेन एनी ईयर बाई ईयर डेटा दीज आर लॉसेज एज पर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट सो इफ यू गो बाई टैक्स इट इज वन लैक टू लैक टू लैक ऐसा अमाउंट बट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट दैर इज कैरी फॉरवर्ड लॉस ऑफ फाइव लैक रुपीज विदाउट एनी ईयर वाइज आइडेंटिटी द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन लॉसेज एज पर टैक्स एंड लॉसेज एज पर अकाउंट इज इन टैक्स वी विल कीप ईयर ऑन ईयर आइडेंटिटी इन अकाउंट वी ओनली नो द टोटल फिगर विदाउट नोइंग हाउ मच अमाउंट परटेन्स टू विच ईयर दैट द डिफरेंस योर एग्जाम का क्वेश्चन विल गिव यू बोथ दे विल गिव यू लॉसेज एज पर टैक्स ईयर बाई ईयर फिगर एंड लॉसेज एज पर अकाउंट टोटल फिगर विच फिगर विल यू टेक For book profit, we will take the total figure as per accounts, and in the same sum, you might have to calculate NTTI and normal tax also, no? Because of whichever is higher. So NTTI may you take losses as per tax, and book profit may you take losses as per accounts. Under book profit, we have to take brought forward losses as per accounts. Is this understood? Absolutely. But this will come with. A problem for the government, and problem ये है that now that we are देखो अभी losses as per tax का discussion we won't be doing. We are understanding that it is book profit. We are interested in brought forward losses as per accounts as per tax. If it is given also, it is going to be taken in entity. Can I say we have to therefore ignore this part? We are only interested in last year का brought forward total carry forward. Last year का brought forward total carry forward. This is the total losses. that we are carrying forward if we go to our fourth year 21 22 can you tell me what is the brought forward loss 5 lakh as per account and going by what is given here brought forward losses as per accounts you have to minus do you understand now problem kya hai listen carefully we did 1920 ka book profit did we have brought forward loss as per accounts 1 lakh rupees In 1920, we will minus one lakh rupees in book profit. Then in 2021, we have got three lakh rupees ka brought forward losses total. Because accounts may we don't have year by year identity. So we will less in book profit three lakh. But this three also includes contains one lakh, which we have already subtracted last year. Come to twenty one twenty two, brought forward losses five lakh. So going by what is written here, we have to subtract five lakh. But five lakh also includes three lakh, which was subtracted last year. Three lakh also includes one lakh, which was subtracted before that. Also, if you are not understanding, then let me say it like this: In math, these losses will keep on getting carried forward year by year in accounts. देखो, tax में क्या होता है? You have brought forward losses. Once you get profit, it's just the brought forward loss, and that loss is over forever. One loss you can adjust only once. But what happens in accounts? You keep on carrying forward unless and until you become a total profitable business. You keep on carrying forward your losses year after year. You keep on carrying forward. Or uski wajah se what will happen? The same amount will come on the less side again and again. You understand this. How do I say same amount will come again and again? Understand करो 1920 में brought forward was one lakh तो भी minus one lakh. I repeat the full thing again now. 2021 में brought forward was three lakh. We minus three lakh but three lakh includes one lakh which was minus last year also. 2122 में भी minus five lakh but five lakh includes three lakh which was minus last year and also further one lakh which was ऐसा समझोगे तो यहाँ पे ना one lakh is getting subtracted for the third time. And till the time our accounts are carrying forward these losses, मतलब till the time we don't become uh, an overall profitable company as per accounts, this exercise will keep on continuing. Is the government suffering a loss? मतलब effectively what is happening? कुछ नहीं समझा तो listen this. In losses as per tax, you get the loss का benefit only once. But in losses as per accounts. बुक प्रॉफिट कंप्यूटेशन 
same amount will keep on coming again and again and again and again and again. And इसीलिए so, government has put a restriction. Logic, I was creating the background because now if I tell you that we are giving deduction of brought forward losses, brought forward क्या? Brought forward unabsorbed depreciation. We know what is unabsorbed depreciation when profits were not sufficient. हाँ, but as per books of accounts, not as per tax. Or other losses, whichever is lower. We won't get your full loss. You will get UAD or other losses, whichever is lower. UAD or other loss, whichever is lower. मतलब सुनो, your total loss is eight lakh. ठीक है? Which includes unabsorbed depreciation of six lakh. Total loss is how much? Eight. Which includes देखो UAD is always a part of your total loss ना? तो total के eight lakh में UAD is six. You are the biggest fool on the planet if you compare 8 and 6 whichever is lower that is stupidity of the highest level UAD is always going to be a part of total so total has to be segregated into UAD and others UAD and others UAD and others UAD and others UAD 6 others 2 UAD 6 others 2 बराबर है तो 6 और 2 whichever is lower के हिसाब से we will be adjusting 2 line is that clear now listen in NTTI we do brought forward losses as per tax there one loss is adjusted only once so we get both we will get total total 8 lakh will be adjusted there we don't get whichever is lower we get total because there only once we get adjusted but then did you understand the loophole in accounts ka losses brought forward losses as per accounts the same amount will get adjusted again and again again and again and again and again correct or no mitro and if the same amount is getting adjusted again and again again and again then what then we take UAD or other whichever is lower. So let's be clear. In NTTI computation, though that is not our target right now, but still I want to discuss. In NTTI computation, we get UAD, other losses, whichever is lower, ke both of them. Question repeat kar rao, listen to the question carefully. NTTI computation, mein, we get UAD, business loss, matlab other loss, whichever is lower, ke both of them. NTTI, mein we will get both of them. Listen. Both will take business loss first. I'll tell you the reason. If both are allowed, so we have to decide now what is allowed first. First business loss. Reason is business loss may we get only eight years ka carry forward. But UAD may we get unlimited carry forward. As a rules hai somewhere in income tax, and you don't know them, that means you have to attend set of ka chapter. So business loss with this logic will be adjusted first. And then if you still have profits, UAD. But under book profit, you will get which loss? Business loss, matlab UAD ke other loss, whichever is lower. UAD or business loss, whichever is lower. Matlab UAD or other loss, whichever is lower. And logic is clear. What is the logic why, why we are allowing only one of the two losses? Because under book profit, the same amount will get adjusted again and again, again and again, year after year basis. So, we will be allowing whichever is lower. So, finally, in NTTI, we get both. We take first other losses, then we take UAD. But in book profit, we are allowed only one of them, that is whichever is lower. Your also institute over the years has played some game in exam. If one is given, If one is given, मतलब literally there was an exam question, brought forward UAD as per books of accounts, 10 lakh, full stop. And it is as per accounts, no, because it, had it been as per tax, so we will ignore for book profit, it will be taken in NTTI, but this was as per accounts, bus. Only this much was given. So, what should we subtract here? If only this much is given, then what should we subtract? Ten lakh. Only that is given. So, no. Good, I discussed this. If 
if one is given that means other is not there and you don't even write the word assume not required if one is given matlab other is not there matlab you know what you will do 10 lakh or zero whichever is lower now you can check on your calculator what is lower if one is given that means you have to take zero samjha they have played this game also literally i am telling you okay if one is given to other is going to be not assume don't even write the word assume don't even write the word assume just say other is zero are we clear till here because this adjustment is still not over but are we clear about the following things fatafat say yes or no we are adjusting broad forward losses we can adjust it within book profit only because after 29 there is no scope of any adjustment and therefore on the less side we are getting benefit of our broad forward losses these losses have to be as per books of account as per tax will come in entity and as per accounts will come under as per accounts what happens is we don't have year on year data we have to take the total broad forward loss and because we take the total broad forward loss it is possible that same amount will adjust again 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 year after year till the time the losses don't convert into profits it will keep on get, getting adjusted same amount ka benefit you are taking every year correct hai and because same amount ka benefit you are taking every year to government has brought down the restriction what we will not allow you the full amount we will allow you uad or other losses whichever is lower as per accounts not as per tax as per accounts and if one of them is given to other ke liye you just take zero and zero only becomes lower of the two is that clear but finally there are two types of companies jiske liye we are creating an exception and we will allow both of them matlab we will stop our whichever is lower ka system and we will allow total loss come back to my example 8 lakh included uad of 6 lakh so we did 6 or 8 whichever is lower nahi 6 or 2 whichever is lower correct or no uad and others but there are two companies for which it won't be whichever is lower it will be total broad forward loss that will be adjusted in our example full 8 lakh will be adjusted normal companies will be allowed only whichever is lower but two companies ko for encouragement promotion support purposes we will be allowing both so all we are required to know is which are those two companies which are allowed both what is the normal rule of broad forward losses uad or other loss whichever is lower but what is the rule for these two companies both will be allowed are you ready to learn the rule or which are those two companies for whom both are going to be allowed if the company has made an insolvency application under in india there is a recent latest taja taja garma garam law called the insolvency and bankruptcy code wherein you have to file for corporate insolvency you have to tell that i don't have money and they will be appointing someone called a resolution professional rp who will handle your entire case i recently had the privilege of taking as a guest lecturer lectures for an institute called indian institute of corporate affairs iica aap bolega sir wo kya hai you all know iits you all know iims because they are very old 10 years 15 years down the line iica will be as renowned because the way our economy is going a lot of businesses are going to become insolvent they will have to come under insolvency proceedings and uske liye you need resolution professionals for which there are two ways become a ca do 10 years ka practice and after this take that insolvency ka registration extra registration and you can handle the whole liquidation of that assessee option 2 immediately after your ca ka llb ka cs ka degree generally it is seen llb and cs ka students but there are some ca ka cleared students also go to that institute for i think it's a one and a half year two years ka course give that entrance exam jaise iit's iims mein hota hai give that entrance exam once entrance exam is passed 
that means you get admission in that institute and in two years you get to practice as a resolutional professional ca ke degree ke baad you have to wait for 10 years normally but in two years you will get to practice if you take the route of iica only entry is difficult entrance exam is difficult once you end that is the same for iits iims once you take the entry you will get your degree the corporate insol in, uh, insolvency process ke liye there is a special institute iica if you don't want to do iica 10 years ka ca ka practice is also enough so lot of old cas who are complete who have completed 10 years they directly took that other route but you have this option and it's a very very good area to work in future तो मेरा एक स्टूडेंट था 2016 में ही बिकेम अ सीए इन 2016 इटसेल्फ एंड ही वांटेड टू टेक आईआईसीए रूट टू बिकम रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल तो ही गिव एंट्रेंस एग्जाम बीइंग अ सीए स्टूडेंट ऑल दिस वाज अलवा लल्लू फॉर हिम ही टॉपड दैट एंट्रेंस एग्जाम ही वाज जैसे ऐसा बोलता है ना आईआईएम में 100 परसेंटाइल कैट में आया ही वाज लाइक दैट 100 परसेंटाइल वाला स्टूडेंट टॉपर था एंड देन टॉपर लोगों का टीचर्स ऑलवेज लिसन Toppers of class, you all must have seen during your school days. Boy, boy, those students who go to the teacher and boy, boy, those toppers, chattus. So he was not that kind of a student, though. But then there are some who are not chattus, but still very, very intelligent students. There are a good number of such students also. So his teachers over there asked him, "Can we want to create or conduct uh, special taxation lectures for?" Students, the relation between taxation and insolvency laws, overlapping some case laws, etc. And he said that if we are told to keep indirect tax ka lecture rakhne ka bola, I am the topper and I am a CA. So teachers directly asked me only that you recommend someone. I couldn't think of anyone other than you. I was a little skeptical because I have historically dealt with CA ka students. I know what will come in their exam. I know what questions come. I know what is the mock test paper i know rtp i know mcq i know everything in ca but i don't have experience i may or may not be able to do justice about relation if you have to tell me to speak about book profit i can speak for 3 hours but ye is relation ke upar you tell me to 3 hours that is not my responsibility that is not not my i don't even know the insolvency ka law in detail of course i know little bit but little knowledge is not good no when when it comes to legal matter okay but he said, okay, sir, it's okay if you don't know much about the insolvency law. Not everyone anyways, even the listeners also don't know much. It is only as a guest lecturer that you have to give us. And, and I will only give you the case laws, study material and everything. You just read them once and very easy they are. It is for your kind of knowledge in taxation. It is going to be very easy. And it was a very, very good experience to work for that organization. And that is when I also came to know. के insolvency professional बनने के लिए you have one more option I was not even aware of IICA just like you were not aware till now तो insolvency का application you do a resolution professional will be appointed and under this law IBC there is someone called an adjudicating authority means this is where you file your application that I want to go under insolvency and the adjudicating authority has admitted your insolvency का application so we will matlab basically you are a company under insolvency you have filed for insolvency you are already into losses we feel sad for you we are going to allow you both now come back to tax uad or other whichever is lower uad or other whichever is lower but this company is in a bad condition so we will allow both and here also i know what institute can do and what kind of game they can play with you they will give you an adjustment where they will say insolvency application under IBC was filed by the company. Jaysay student deka insolvency was filed. Student be like, sir insolvency matlab both sir, both sir. Gada? No. Just filing insolvency can't guarantee both. Now, try to understand what went wrong with the student here. The application has to be admitted. If your application has not been accepted by the adjudicating authority then it will be whichever is lower only after it is accepted it will be both of them is that clear now is that clear okay so that's the first company for whom both will be allowed and second 
द नेशनल कंपनी लॉ ट्रिब्यूनल आई थिंक एनसीएल यू मे अगेन कम अक्रॉस वेन एवर यू स्टडी योर लॉ सिलेबस हैज सस्पेंडेड द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स और अपॉइंटेड अ न्यू बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स only because you have not studied company law it will be a little difficult for you so just listen to what i am saying once you learn company law it is going to be very easy company law mein i may be wrong with these section numbers i think it is this 241 242 whenever you learn company law you verify the numbers main provision bata raha hu under these sections of company law it is not income tax ka section it is companies act ka section the national company law tribunal has the power to suspend board of directors of any company and appoint new board of directors so it is possible that the board of directors are not handling the company properly the so people matlab there will be a recommendation coming to the nclt and uh, central government may make that application and tell the nclt to suspend the board of directors so bod can be suspended or new bod can be appointed in place of suspended people all this teaches us only one logic that that means company is not in in its good days something is wrong with the company because something is wrong then only the need of suspending bod arises and therefore out of that bad situation of the company we are allowing both the the uad as well as the other losses both are going to be allowed normally we allow uad or other losses whichever is lower but two companies will be allowed both which two companies company number 1 insolvency application but only if admitted by adjudicating authority company number 2 nclt has suspended board of director that company law ka section numbers you can later verify whenever you study law 241 242 so finally we have that point which will come in all your exam ka questions fix 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 matlab fix in every exam question it is guaranteed that you are going to have it what is that point you have to adjust your broad forward losses quick recap as per accounts because it is accounts it will be total we don't have year by year data so same amount will get adjusted again and again because same amount is getting adjusted again and again we'll take uad or other loss whichever is lower normal may we get both we take first business losses then uad but here we have to take whichever is lower and if only one is given to other ke liye you directly say zero bolke whichever is lower may adjust zero but there are two companies where you don't have to take whichever is lower you'll get both which are those two companies first insolvency ka application admitted and second bod suspended are we clear about the broad forward losses wala point every exam it will come next point point f i am continuing on the less side point f lekin ye point f ka na there will be one related point on the add side also okay so first i'll tell you about the less side wala point f very very easy if credited don't forget that if credited matlab have i recorded this amount in my profits yes any income which is exempt under section 10 11 12 will be subtracted a hey, section 10 to very easy section 10 to samajh mein aata hai it is exempt what is 11 12 what is section 11 section 11 to humne kabhi padha what is section 11 exemption of charitable trust चैरिटेबल क्या सर चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट का एग्जामेशन का सेक्शन यू आर राइटिंग इन बुक प्रॉफिट विच इज ऑफ कंपनी सर कंपनी के अंदर ट्रस्ट का एग्जामेशन सर सर बोल क्या हाउ 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 कंपनी का चैप्टर में ट्रस्ट का एग्जामेशन सेक्शन एट कंपनी इज इट पॉसिबल दैट इट्स अ सेक्शन एट कंपनी तो सुनो देर इज प्रॉफिट नाउ लिसन वॉट इज हेपनिंग देर इज प्रॉफिट दिस प्रॉफिट इज वेर वी स्टार्टेड अवर बुक प्रॉफिट बट वी आर एलिजिबल फॉर एग्जामेशन maybe if we are a section 8 company to charitable trust but that's a very very rare or less likely case where we want to do charity and we have incorporated company hardly people do that those who want to do charity will incorporate trust under trust act so company being covered under section 11 ka likelihood is very less you can ignore if you want and full focus on this particular part any income which is exempt under section 10 so is agriculture income an exemption under section 10 yes if you have written agriculture income out here that means it has come in your profit so we will subtract that because one statement listen mat has come to target the deductions that you are taking 
एग्जाम्पल चैप्टर सिक्स है मैट इज नॉट सो पावरफुल दैट इट कैन मेक योर एग्जाम इनकम टैक्सेबल मैट डज नॉट है इट कैनॉट मेक योर एग्जाम इनकम टैक्सेबल यू अंडरस्टैंड डिडक्शन वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव बट एग्जाम कैनॉट बी टैक्स क्लियर है तो एग्रीकल्चर इनकम इफ रिकॉर्डेड इज इट अक्शन टेन एग्जामेशन सब ट्रैक करो इज इट पॉसिबल दैट द कंपनी इज अ पार्टनर इन अ फर्म शेयर ऑफ प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम फर्म एग्जाम अंडर टेन टू ए दैट प्रॉफिट इज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर यूर सो इट्स कमिंग इन माई प्रॉफिट हाउ टू रिमूव वी विल लेस इट इज इट पॉसिबल दैट द कंपनी इज अ शेयर होल्डर इन अनदर कंपनी एंड दैट अदर कंपनी हैज डन बाय बैक तो उस कैपिटल गेन पे वी गेट एग्जामेशन बाय बैक टैक्स इज पेड बाय द कंपनी इफ दैट गेन इज क्रेडिटेड यूर वी विल माइनस सो एनी इनकम विच इज एग्जाम अंडर सेक्शन टेन इलेवन 12 but you have credited it to pnl account we will minus because mat is here to target your deductions mat cannot make your exempt income co taxable are we clear absolutely so are these all a part of section 10 yes correct theek likewise is it possible that the company is doing business in special economic zone एन एसी जेड का प्रॉफिट आर रिकॉर्डेड इन द पी एन एल अकाउंट एसी जेड के प्रॉफिट के लिए भी कंपनी इज गोइंग टू बी एलिजिबल फॉर टेन डबल ए तो कैन आई से दैट ऑल्सो वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट कैन नॉट सब्ट्रैक्ट हाँ नो अरे टेन है ना पर टेन है ना टेन टेन एंड टेन डबल ए आर नॉट सेम आई हैॉट यू दिस बिफोर ऑल्सो टेन एंड टेन डबल ए आर एज डिफरेंट एज टेन एंड इलेवन समझा इफ इट इज सेक्शन टेन का एग्जामेशन वी विल गिव इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व वर्ड्स केस अगर कंपनी इज अ ट्रस्ट सेक्शन एट तो वी विल गिव बट मित्रो कहीं पर भी वी डोंट वॉन्ट कंफ्यूजन टेन डबल ए इज नॉट कवर्ड यूर टेन डबल ए इज नॉट टेन आर दीज ऑल पार्ट ऑफ सेक्शन टेन दैट आई रिटर्न यूर इन ब्रैकेट एज एग्जाम्पल They are clauses of section ten, but this is not a part of section ten. It's a deduction. Or one more thing, this deduction is only our target why we introduced MAT. The reason why MAT was introduced is because people are having profits, but they are taking the deduction. समझा क्या? तो final question: If agriculture income is credited in PNL account, will we subtract it? Yes. Share of profit credited in PNL account will we subtract it? Yes, SZ का प्रॉफिट क्रेडिटेड इन थ्री एन एल अकाउंट विल बी सब अरे उसका नॉर्मल प्रोविजन में यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर टेन डबल ए का डिडक्शन मैट में भी नहीं बिकॉज टेन इज नॉट टेन डबल ए टेन डबल ए इज नॉट टेन इज दैट क्लियर एंड इफ दैट इज क्लियर तो नाउ सी हाउ इज इट बिकम्स एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर एग्जाम इनकम अंडर सेक्शन टेन इलेवन आर वी सब्रैक्टिंग टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व का इनकम तो उसका एक्सपेंस विल बी एडेड बैक एंड नाउ नाउ लेट मी सी वेदर यू अंडरस्टैंड नॉट माई क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल एग्रीकल्चर का इनकम इज देर एग्रीकल्चर का एक्सपेंस इज देर डू यू अंडरस्टैंड के इफ अ पर्टिक्युलर इनकम इज एक्सम देन एक्सपेंस का डिडक्शन यू वोट गेट तो इफ इनकम इज क्रेडिटेड वी आर सब्रैक्टिंग तो एक्सपेंस वी आर एडिंग तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये पॉइंट क्लियर है ओके But the trickiest part here is this: if you are able to answer this question, then I will understand that you are actually following what is happening. I have incurred some expenses in SZ, and I have debited my SZ expense in my profit and loss account. My question is: you are on the ad side. Will we add the SZ expenses? This is my question. Will we add SZ expense? नहीं वाई नहीं वाई वी विल नॉट बी एडिंग एस का एक्सपेंस सिंपल है बिकॉज द इनकम दैट वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड यर आर वी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द इनकम नहीं तो एक्सपेंस आल्सो डोंट है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर शेयर ऑफ प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म आर वी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द इनकम तो उसका एक्सपेंसिस ऑल्सो विल बी एडेड बैक इफ एन इनकम इज एग्जेम तो एक्सपेंस विल बी एडेड बैक बट एस प्रॉफिट का डू वी गेट एनी बेनिफिट अंडर मैट नो तो उसका एक्सपेंस ऑल्सो डज नॉट है Added back, the logic also becomes very, very 
clear are you guys clear on this absolutely so i think we are done with seven points on the ad side six points on the less side 13 points are over aise hi haste khelte mazak mazak mein we have to still do 16 more points everybody is with me now then i have a small piece of news bolo information bolo we are now going to do five adjustments together okay in these five adjustments two will be on the ad side matlab can i say point h and i three will be on the less side two on the ad side three on the less side five adjustments will be done together and all five are related with each other individually what is the treatment you will understand but if you want to know the logic logic you will understand only when all five are over but the point understanding is easy exam mein mark scoring is easy individually also you can do that but if you want to know the logic about these five points then total logic will happen when all five are over okay another piece of news is this that in the 29 adjustments if there is anything difficult tough to understand it is this the toughest part of book profit once these five are done yes of course thereafter also we have another 11 adjustments to do but they are very very easy the toughest part is this five and you don't take load of all five together go one by one go by the flow but are you ready with me to go to the toughest part of book profit everyone chali we first go to the ad side ad side mein obviously we are adding only if debited that common point is still there if debited very easy you know small milate jao large banate jao if we keep on doing easy stuff chota 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 karke one day the see anything which is difficult no, i mazak nahi kar raha anything you find difficult in all your eight papers all eight papers don't look at the full thing together usko break in small parts and look at it in small small parts okay so the full picture will become automatically clear so depreciation which is as per books of accounts which is debited you have to add it back depreciation as per books of accounts will be added back the depreciation which is debited will be added back but some students be like sir this adjustment to we have done all our life in pgbt by singing a song add as per books and then less as per tax provisions now whether you call it less as per tax or less as per section 32 less as per income tax less as per block asset method less, less as per wdv method whatever is debited in accounts we add and whatever is allowed in tax we less and all our life we have been singing the song add as per books less as per tax add as per books less as per tax have we done add as per books so logically speaking your mind must be telling you kya less side we are on the less side now depreciation as per a eh, likh diya gaya as per have you written it iske aage ka word likh diya gaya nahi to say it add as per books correct hai less as per what do you think abhi to song song sing kiya add as per books less as per tax to so add as per books to we have done less as per kyu kuch bol nahi raha samar like ke sir nahi kuch na kuch to yahan pe hai agar if it was this easy to you would have only directly said nahi less as per books only add as per books less as per books ye yeah. amit aise ekdam soya tha जैसे ही आई सेट लेस एस पर क्या 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 बोल रहे सुबह सुबह वॉट आर यू सेइंग सर सर व्हाट डिड यू कंज्यूम लास्ट नाइट हमारे फैमिली बिजनेस ऑफिस में वेन एवर दिवाली का पूजा टेक्स प्लेस ना तो वी ब्रिंग शिव जी का प्रसाद शिव जी का प्रसाद समझते हैं क्या होता है वो and now because when i ask some of my south mumbai ka students now obnoxious town is sir i think you're talking about marijuana le bhang bolte be marijuana 
कान के नीचे एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि छुपके छुपके मतलब आई बिलीव इन डूइंग थिंग्स ओपनली आई टेक इट फ्रॉम माई चाचू के दो ना थोड़ा अंकल एंड टेल माई मॉम कि मम्मी आज तो मूड सेट करके आने वाला हो घर पे पहले बिंदास मतलब इफ यू डू समथिंग रॉन्ग देन यू हैव टू डू इट छुपके साल में एक बार एंड यू डोंट टेक इट एज एज इंटॉक्सिकेशन टेक इट एज प्रसाद ओके सर तो लगता है उसका असर हैज नॉट गॉन बिकॉज इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल दैट यू हैव कंज्यूम्ड शिवजी का प्रसाद लास्ट नाइट डेप्रिसिएशन एज पर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एट साइड एंड लेस साइड एज पर बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट तो असर दिख रहा है ना मित्रो अमी ये देख हाँ बोलता है पागल अमित इट इज नॉट दैट असर द रियलिटी इज दैट बुक प्रॉफिट में एड एज पर बुक्स लेस एज पर बुक्स ही है बट एक्सक्लूडिंग एनी एक्स्ट्रा डेप्रिसिएशन ड्यू टू रिवेल्युएशन Excluding any extra depreciation due to revaluation. Add as per books, less as per books only, but it will exclude any extra depreciation due to revaluation. They call depreciation का two adjustments we have done. One add, one less. First, I will explain this. उसके बाद में don't forget that we have three more. Total five का set we are doing. I think you have not. ये वो भांग के discussion में you have not forgotten that no. तो ये तो बहुत easy explain करना. This part is very easy. We come to below our book profit computation. जो notes के लिए we have some space. वहाँ पे we will come and write our first note. Very easy to explain your depreciation वाला point. Supposingly you purchase an asset for rupees ten lakh. तो obviously your journal entry in accounts is going to be asset account debit to bank account ten lakh. And ideally, when you charge depreciation in accounts at the end of the year, you should charge on ten lakh, and that will become your depreciation as per accounts. Correct, again. But what you have done is, you have passed a revaluation entry. Revaluation. You have done revaluation of your asset two fifteen. Two fifteen का मतलब क्या है मित्रों? You are not enhancing the value of asset by fifteen. Increase two fifteen मतलब increase by five. Ten is already there. Increase by five and make it fifteen. So if we have to make our asset account higher than what it is, I hope you understand that asset account is a debit balance. So for increasing it, we have to further debit the asset account. You understand this much accounting? The so asset account debit five lakh. But my question is, do you know this much accounts that whenever we do revaluation, debit entry is to increase asset account? Do we know what is the credit entry? Two. Revaluation reserve account five lakh asset account debit to revaluation reserve five lakh. मतलब how does revaluation reserve come into existence in our accounts by debiting the asset account? Whenever we are revaluing our asset, we debit our asset account, increase our asset, and create revaluation. मतलब you need to have this knowledge that revaluation reserve can be created only by debiting which account? Asset account. So understand the chronology. Purchased for Ten lakh and increase the value to five lakh. And now comes the time to charge the depreciation entry by taking, for convenience purposes, taking ten percent as the example rate. Acha, ye to we know the depreciation ka journal entry is depreciation account debit to asset account. Journal entry is this, but here comes the problem. And answer fast. The faster you answer, the better it will be. Purchase price of the asset. Ten lakh rupees. Correct? Hai? Revalued to five lakhs. Revalued by five lakhs. मतलब two fifteen lakh. Correct. Now you will therefore recognize the asset in accounts at a value of fifteen lakh. If you charge depreciation now on that fifteen lakh, your accounts are showing depreciation of one point five lakh. And this is where mistake arises, मित्रों. If we start allowing you debiting of depreciation figures like this, so Pagal, why are you revaluing to fifteen lakh? Do one thing, revalue to fifteen crore. करना क्या है? Asset account debit to revaluation reserve. 
फिफ्टीन करोड़ पे यू पास टेन परसेंट तो इट विल बी वन एंड हाफ करोड़ का डेप्रिसिएशन मस्त है द डेप्रिसिएशन का अमाउंट इज मोर देन द टर्न ओवर ऑफ द कंपनी लॉल यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी कैन नॉट अलाउ दिस बट एट द सेम टाइम यू हैव टू नाउ स्मार्टली आइडेंटिफाई दैट आउट ऑफ द टोटल डेप्रिसिएशन एज पर अकाउंट मतलब यू गो एंड चेक पी एन एल अकाउंट पी एन एल अकाउंट के डेबिट साइड पे यू गेट डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव आउट ऑफ दिस टोटल वन पॉइंट फाइव there is some correct amount and some wrong amount there is some izzat wala amount and there is some faltu wala amount there is some accurate amount and there is some inaccurate amount the total 1.5 ka amount is not wrong originally you purchased your asset for 10 lakh so charging depreciation on 10 lakh is valid enough can you identify from the depreciation what is the depreciation as per accounts 1 and 1/2 but there is some error because of revaluation How much is the accurate wala, ijjat wala, correct wala depreciation? Had there been no revaluation, we would have charged depreciation on ten lakh, and thus our depreciation would have been one. And how much is the unnecessary extra fall to unrequired because of revaluation? Zero point five. Are you able to identify that from the depreciation of one point five, one lakh is correct one, and point five is incorrect, illogical? We have to disallow this point five, means fifty thousand rupees. And we have to disallow fifty thousand. Is not surprising. We have to disallow. No, so so people will revalue to fifteen crore. We have to disallow. We have disallowed fifty thousand rupees. We have disallowed fifty. Now go and see both your adjustments. What are you adding? Depreciation as per accounts. So in our example, what is that amount? One point five full amount is added. Correct. come to the less side depreciation as per accounts only 1.5 but from this 1.5 exclude the revaluation ka depreciation how much is the revaluation ka depreciation 0.5 exclude that if you exclude that 50000 so what are you left with 1 lakh matlab add kitna 1.5 full less kitna izzat wala depreciation less correct wala what is the net effect 0.5 has been added well that was the intention also together our two entries of depreciation are disallowing our revaluation ka extra depreciation can you agree with this that's our target in these two depreciation ka adjustments we just wanted to disallow our depreciation due to revaluation our depreciation due to revaluation had to be disallowed only that much was our target Have we successfully done that? Yes. चलिए तो did I, did I tell you that individually understanding these entries is not at all difficult? ठीक है तो add as per books of accounts, less as per books only, excluding the revaluation depreciation. Therefore, in our example, automatically one lakh will become allowed and fifty thousand will become disallowed. No problem. चलिए now let's go to the other adjustments on the add side. Transfer to reserves. सुनो विच रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू जनरल रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू करेंसी फ्लक्चुएशन रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू इन्वेस्टमेंट अलावेंस रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैपिटल रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू डिविडेंड इक्वलाइजेशन रिजर्व हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दीज ट्रांसफर टू रिजर्व इन कंपनी पी एन एल अकाउंट ट्रांसफरिंग प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम पी एन एल टू अदर रिजर्व पी एन एल अकाउंट डेबिट टू एस इजेड री इन्वेस्टमेंट रिजर्व is this transfer to reserve reducing your profit is this an expense it is an appropriation so we will add it back this requires no explanation it is not an expense you have to add it back so transfer to reserves ye add side pe ha mitro add side transfer to reserve add back excluding there is a reserve created under section 33 ac that you don't have to add write this 33 ac if you are writing write it and ignore it like modi ignores kejriwal write it and ignore it it is irrelevant but ek minute ka time leke for your knowledge i am telling you section 33 ac is a section in pgbp pgbp ka chapter in income tax ka law and this section 33 ac says that if you are doing shipping ka business तो अ पोर्शन ऑफ योर प्रॉफिट्स यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर इन दिस स्पेशल रिजर्व 
That means can I say accessible debit PNL account and transfer money in this special reserve? The assassin never wanted to do it voluntarily. We are making him do it. We are making him credit this reserve. And this time, V does not mean accounting standard. This time, V means Income Tax Act. In deferred tax, what was happening? Income tax has not told you to create deferred tax. Accounts told you to create deferred tax. So they said that added back. But here, who is telling you to create this reserve? Income tax is telling you to create the reserve. This you will not add back. So transfer to reserve. Matlab transfer to general reserve, dividend equalization, investment allowance, currency fluctuation. You are reducing your profit. Add, 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 add. But transfer to this reserve, which is done because of income tax, you don't need to. Add. but as I told you ignore this because they never ask you focus only till here don't use your brain unnecessarily don't trouble yourself transfer to reserve will be debited in PNL account add it back nothing great it is not an expense only so you have to add it back it is an appropriation so it is very easy tha, sir what were you saying the toughest part come to the less side obviously you have the brain to understand ke transfer to reserve matlab PNL debit kiya, to you add back is it possible that there is transfer from reserve, general reserve account debit to PNL, dividend equalization account debit to PNL. Is it possible? Transfer from reserve. What will we do? So this is also very easy, sir. Faster you answer, better it will be. Priyanshu? Nay. So transfer to reserve or they go shipping ka I am not asking only. Shipping ka no, I have told you to ignore. Any other reserve like general reserve, PNL, any other reserve. Transfer to. To matlab PNL debit karke you have created the reserve. What to do to transfer to reserve? Everyone. Add. Add. And transfer from reserve matlab you have credited in PNL account. What to do? Less because it is not a profit correct so transfer to reserve add and transfer from reserve less no problem now problem will start coming transfer from reserve excluding revaluation reserve will be subtracted transfer from reserve excluding revaluation reserve will be subtracted matlab suno this is your PNL account. Okay. Transfer 22222 two, two will come here. This is debited. So what to do in MAT ka book profit? Add. Transfer from, 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 from will be credited. This is increasing your profit. So what to do? Less. But in this, if there is revaluation reserve, that you don't less. Sir, first question here arise hota hai. Sir, add side pe bhai, you have not written excluding revaluation. The point have to be same, no? Transfer to add. So, transfer from less. So, from me, you are writing exclude revaluation. So, here also you should have written exclude revaluation. Nahi na. Deko, likna hai to you write. But then, did you not ex understand what I explained to you here? And I purposely took time to make you understand that revaluation can never be created by debiting PNL. Matlab, PNL debit to revaluation, PNL debit to revaluation is not possible in accounts. Revaluation is created by debiting which account? Asset account. So, accounts may, it can never be PNL to revaluation. Even if you write on the ad side, come on the ad side. Write, transfer to reserve excluding revaluation. But that revaluation is never going to take place. It has got no relevance. Haan, lekin, once revaluation reserve is created by debiting which account? asset account. It is created by debiting asset account. So, PNL is not debited. One day if we want to close this account, we transfer to PNL account. Matlab, I will just speak one line. If you understand, I will go ahead. PNL account debit to revaluation is not possible in accounts. It will always be asset debit to revaluation. It's the transfer to reserve mein, I don't need to mention only about revaluation. Correct? But revaluation account debited to PNL is possible in accounts that day when we close this. So transfer from me, I have to write about revaluation. So transfer to me, no need to write because it won't happen only. But transfer from me, I need to write. Is that understood? 
तो ट्रांसफर टू रिजर्व वॉट विल बी डू एड ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम रिजर्व वॉट विल बी डू लेस बट एक्सक्लूडिंग रिवैल्युएशन मतलब ट्रीटमेंट इज अंडरस्टूड फटाफट बोलो ऑल द अमाउंट दैट आर डेबिटेड शिपिंग वाला इग्नोर दिस इज जनरल रिजर्व करेंसी अलावेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट अलावेंस करेंसी फ्लक्चुएशन ऑल दो रिजर्व वॉट टू डू इफ डेबिटेड एड If credited other than revaluation, less revaluation don't less. Sir, treatment we understood. What is the logic for excluding revaluation? You want to know the logic? Sir, pakka abhi kal raat ka sir pakka hai sir pakka guaranteed now. सर सुबह सुबह डोंट टॉर्चर अस दिस इज नॉट व्हाई वी हैव कम ऑन फेस्टिवल डेज टू अटेंड एक्स्ट्रा लेक्चर्स फॉर हायर ड्यूरेशन देन थ्री आवर्स बिकॉज एनी वेज वी ऑल हैव ऑफिस लीव सो वी हैव नॉट कम अपना बात हुआ था ना दैट दीज डेज वेन यू हैव ऑफिस लीव वी विल तो अभी कर रहे बात क्या बड़ी बात अपना बात वी डिस्क वी डिड नॉट डिस्कस दैट दीज टू डेज टू थ्री डेज आफ्टर दिवाली तो यू विल बी हैविंग ऑफिस का छुट्टी You don't have to go anywhere. So let's keep higher. अभी नहीं किया था. We never spoke about it. So we are speaking now. Now, नहीं. कितना जल्दी फटाफट फटाफट ऐसा 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 ऐसा. I was asking transfer from reserve का क्या? उसमें कोई नहीं. उसमें there is absolutely no response. जैसे ही I said that I will extend the class फटाफट. तो एक काम करो. If you want no extension of class, I have a solution to that also. Be a little proactive in class. If you Show me that you have understood things. I go ahead faster. Many a times, what happens is I get stuck at one place only because your expressions or your reactions don't convince me that you have understood. If you understand, the faster you convince me, को हम को समझ में आ गया. Let's go ahead. The faster you convince me, the faster we go ahead. We don't get stuck. And if we get stuck, देखो, just for completion portion, I am not going to go fast. Okay? If we get stuck, we get stuck. Then the only way to cover that time is extra class. And that normal course में तो होगा नहीं Festival days when you don't have to go to office are the only days when it is possible. तो so convince me that you have understood. Depreciation debited to accounts has to be added. But that same depreciation has to be also subtracted, excluding revaluation, depreciation because net में भी disallowed the revaluation वाला figure. Did we understand that? By the way, let me tell you that there will be some companies which will have no revaluation. So do you realize the depreciation add and less will be the same figure because there is no revaluation? You still do it, you get one mark for adding and lessing the same amount. In every question of book profit, add depreciation, less depreciation. Where there is no revaluation, it will be same amount. You still do it for one mark. You lose one mark if you don't do that. Samja? Add less the same amount. And of course, if there is revaluation, add amount will be total. Less amount will be ijjat wala, karek wala depreciation. Automatically, revaluation will be disallowed. Then we came to second part. Transfer to reserve add. So transfer from reserve less. Transfer to reserve add. Transfer from reserve less. But from me we are excluding revaluation because that is separately covered. Okay, sir. Two me why didn't you exclude? Because two is not possible. It is always asset account debit. Two is not possible. But from is possible. So revaluation ke liye there is a separate point. So everyone understands this logic now, sir. Why is revaluation excluded? Because there is separate point. But that separate point cannot stop here because कितना ही भी 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 funny ना कल रात का असर असर होता तो cancel कर लेता class वो गया असर okay तो कितना ही we try to act funny the fact is that it cannot stop here if it had stopped here तब तो it could have been covered in the previous point as well there is a little catch involved transfer from revaluation reserve excluding sorry transfer from revaluation reserve but restricted to maximum the extra depreciation due to revaluation restricted to the maximum amount of extra depreciation due to revaluation transfer from revaluation reserve restricted to extra depreciation due to revaluation this is where the whole logic the whole concept will become clear dekho Add less depreciation. Maybe we have disallowed the revaluation depreciation. Everyone is clear about that. Transfer to reserve and transfer from reserve. May if we exclude the revaluation wala part, so are we clear about that? Transfer to reserve add and transfer from reserve less. 
ओनली दिस रिवेल्युएशन वाला पार्ट एंड इट्स कनेक्शन विद द डेप्रिसिएशन का फिगर इज अ लिटल लिटल क्वेश्चन मार्क करेक्ट है एंड इसको एक्सप्लेन करना बाकी एवरीथिंग एल्स इज क्लियर ऑल राइट कम यर कम बैक टू द स्टोरी I purchased an asset for 10 lakh rupees. Is the first journal entry journal entry clear to everyone? Asset account debit to bank account 10 lakh. Then I revalued the asset. So revaluation ka entry is clear. Asset account debit to revaluation 5 lakh. And now I have charged depreciation. What is the depreciation in my accounts? 1.5. Out of this depreciation, correct amount logical amount is 1 lakh, and extra unnecessary stupid illogical amount is 50. Is our depreciation ka add and less going to take care of the extra fifty? Yes, so add one fifty less only one lakh, so fifty thousand is disallowed. So my question is, Assessi has tried to manipulate this profit figure by manipulating the depreciation ka figure. Correct? Hai? Is book profit calculation rectifying that manipulation? Be clear, be sure. Yes, so no. NTTI computation will also take care of it. Because NTTI computation, me what do we do? We disallow depreciation in accounts and separately calculate as per section 32 and allow that. So my question is finally this: Whatever nonsense Assessi does here, will NTTI computation be rectified by depreciation adjustment? Yes. Will book profit computation be rectified by depreciation adjustment? Yes. But is the net profit figure still wrong? देखो एवरीथिंग ओनली अबाउट टैक्सेशन तो एनटीटीआई विल बी रेक्टिफाइड बुक प्रॉफिट आल्सो विल बी रेक्टिफाइड हैव वी स्टडीड द टू एडजस्टमेंट्स ऐड टोटल 1.5 लेस ओनली वन लैक बट इज प्रॉफिट फिगर स्टिल रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ पीएनएल में तो यू हैव रिटर्न 1.5 ओनली नो प्रॉफिट फिगर इज स्टिल रॉन्ग एवरीबॉडी इज विद मी इसलिए इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया क्रिएटेड अ गाइडेंस नोट ऑन रीवैल्यूएशन रिजर्व आईसीआई गाइडेंस नोट का कैसा इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी सजेशन है यू कैन फॉलो यू कैन नॉट फॉलो इट्स ओके एंड सम स्टूडेंट्स टोल्ड मी के ऑडिट के सिलेबस में इट इज नॉट देयर मतलब दैट गाइडेंस नोट आल्सो इज विड्रॉन बाय आईसीएआई बट दैट गाइडेंस नोट इज विड्रॉन दे हैव नॉट रिमूव्ड द एडजस्टमेंट फ्रॉम यू क्या था वो गाइडेंस नोट लिसन केयरफुली गाइडेंस नोट सेज योर पीएनएल अकाउंट का नेट प्रॉफिट का फिगर इज स्टिल रॉन्ग डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट You have rectified your NTTI and book profit. Your net profit is still wrong. Your profit figure is not correct. Correct this figure by transferring from your revaluation account the amount to the extent of faltu ka depreciation. First of all, we have created a revaluation reserve on an asset. There is five lakh rupees lying in the revaluation reserve. Correct or no? It is because of that five lakh. That this extra depreciation of 0.5 faltu me is coming. So do one thing. When you debit this 1.5 from your revaluation, you transfer 0.5 here. Transfer some amount from revaluation to PNL. So what journal entry you will pass? Revaluation account debit to PNL. And how much amount? To the extent of that faltu wala depreciation, which in our example is 0.5. With this transfer. Is my profit figure also rectified? That's my question. Correct. Till now we were rectifying our NTTI and book profit, but my net profit was still wrong. And accounts also have to show a true picture. By this transfer, we are rectifying our mistake. Are we clear? But this transfer was given in guidance note. So there will be some people who will follow. There will be some people who will not follow. You agree with this? Now you tell me which assessi ka tax treatment you want to learn first. The assessi who followed guidance note or the assessi who did not follow. Bolo kiska karo. Arey pehle kiska both I I am going to the. Some are saying both. I did not say which one of them. I said I am doing both first kiska the one who followed. Followed matlab kya pehle understand the accounting. Followed matlab wrong debit hai fifty thousand. But have we rectified that wrong debit? those who follow the guidance not have they rectified the wrong debit everyone with me please sir this is very complicated you need to pay full attention here we have rectified our profit figure still look at my book profit calculation add side pe i will be writing 1.5 and less side pe year i will be writing 1 matlab is my 
बुक प्रॉफिट कैलकुलेशन शोइंग दिस एड साइड वन पॉइंट फाइव लेस साइड वन बिकॉज ऑफ द डेप्रिसिएशन का एडजस्टमेंट बट इज माई प्रॉफिट का फिगर रेक्टिफाइड फॉलो किया उसका बात कर रहा हूं इसलिए इसलिए आई आई टोल्ड यू बी क्लियर अबाउट होम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई हैव रिटर्न वन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर आई हैव फॉलोड गाइडेंस नॉट मतलब हैव आई रिटर्न पॉइंट फाइव ऑल्सो ईयर येस तो आई इसलिए आई वॉज आस्किंग इज द प्रॉफिट का फिगर रेक्टिफाइड यू ऑल सेड येस देन आई टूक यू टू बुक प्रॉफिट देन इन बुक प्रॉफिट आई आस्क यू इज माई प्रॉफिट का फिगर रेक्टिफाइड सम ऑफ यू ऑल सेड नो दैट मीन्स यू आर नॉट कीपिंग इन माइंड वॉट हैपन इन द प्रीवियस स्टेप आई वंस अगेन ब्रिंग यू टू द प्रीवियस स्टेप I have debited one point five, correct of one and wrong of point five total of one point five. Mistake is with respect to point five. Guidance note says correct this mistake by transferring that much amount. With this, your profit figure will also be rectified. There will be two types of people: those who follow guidance note, those who don't follow guidance note. I asked you, you want to learn kiska sum said followed. So followed wala, followed wala matlab has written this zero point five. मतलब डेबिटेड 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव बट करेक्टेड इट बाई क्रेडिटिंग तो नाउ आई एम आस्किंग यू अगेन इज द प्रोफिट का फिगर रेक्टिफाइड बाई फॉलोइंग गाइडेंस नोट हैव वी एलिमिनेटेड द इंपैक्ट ऑफ द रॉन्ग डेप्रिसिएशन बाई फॉलोइंग गाइडेंस नोट आर यू क्लियर आई एम टेकिंग यू टू बुक प्रॉफिट नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एस हु एस क्रेडिटेड रिवेल्युएशन का बैलेंस पॉइंट फाइव एंड रेक्टिफाइड द प्रोफिट फिगर तो फाइनल क्वेश्चन इज माई नेट प्रॉफिट एज पर पी एन एन करेक्ट और रॉन्ग करेक्ट है स्टिल व्हाट विल माय डेप्रिसिएशन का फिगर्स डू एड एस पर बुक्स लेस एस पर बुक्स एक्सक्लूडिंग रिवेल्युएशन इज माय डेप्रिसिएशन का टू एंट्री स्टिल फोर्सिंग मी टू एड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव यस बट दिस असेस ही हैज ऑलरेडी करेक्टेड दैट मिस्टेक तो व्हाट वी विल डू ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम रिवेल्युएशन रिजर्व वी विल लेस कितना अमाउंट एक्स्ट्रा डेप्रिसिएशन हाउ मच इज दैट अमाउंट जीरो मतलब क्या ना इसे लेस साइड पे 0.5 आ रहा है मतलब एड साइड फुल डेप्रिसिएशन लेस साइड नॉर्मल वाला एंड 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव दैट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम दिवेल्यूएशन रिजर्व क्या ना इसे 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव कैंसल इच अदर दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स क्या ना इसे फुल इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑल द एंट्रीज इज जीरो विच इज करेक्ट बिकॉज द प्रॉफिट फिगर इज ऑलरेडी करेक्ट सो दो फॉलोड गाइडेंस नो नेट इंपैक्ट शुड बी जीरो We have made the net impact zero because those who follow the guidance note, their profit ka figure is already rectified. So add one point five, so less also one point five. Eliminate the entire impact. Understood? But those who don't follow guidance note, that means they have written one point five and they have not written this. Is the profit ka figure having that mistake of fifty thousand? Yes, yes. And assess he has not rectified because now we have gone to this case. Now come here. What will my depreciation ka entries do? Will my depreciation ka entries still do this? They are very rigid. Correct. Correct. Eh? Now see, have I done transfer from revaluation reserve? We are now talking about that assess he has not followed guidance note. Not followed. Matlab have I done transfer to revaluation or transfer from revaluation? No. So minus zero. तो एड 1.5 लेस वन नेट में वी आर एडिंग 0.5 एंड वी हैव टू डू इट फॉर द पर्सन हु हैज नॉट फॉलोड गाइडेंस नोट देर इज स्टिल अ मिस्टेक रिमेनिंग नो इन द प्रॉफिट का फिगर तो वी हैव टू रेक्टिफाई एड 1.5 लेस वन वी हैव टू रेक्टिफाई बाय एडिंग 0.5 फॉर दोज हु डोंट फॉलो गाइडेंस नोट तो ऑटोमेटिकली दैट पॉइंट विल गेट एडेड बट इन केस द एस हैड फॉलोड गाइडेंस नोट तो प्रॉफिट फिगर इज ऑलरेडी रेक्टिफाइड तो दिस रिवेल्युएशन का एंट्री के अंदर दैट अमाउंट विल कम एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल कैंसल द इफेक्ट ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन का एंट्री इन अदर वर्ड्स दिस रिवेल्युएशन का एंट्री इज बेसिकली टू कैंसल द डेप्रिसिएशन का इफेक्ट बट ओनली फॉर दोज असेसिस हैव डन दिस एंट्री एंड करेक्टेड देयर प्रॉफिट इफ यू डू दिस एंट्री एंड करेक्ट योर प्रॉफिट तो फिर द एंट्री विल कैंसल योर डेप्रिसिएशन का एडजस्टमेंट बट इफ यू हैव नॉट डन द एंट्री So we need the depreciation ka adjustment. This will be zero, and automatically the depreciation ka adjustment will be taking care of the full thing. So it all depends on those who follow guidance note or those who don't follow the guidance note. Abhi samjha mitro, maza aaya, everyone enjoyed, enjoyed. So finally, what are our five entries?
इजी इजी स्मॉल स्मॉल पार्ट डेप्रिसिएशन एज पर अकाउंट डेबिट एज पर अकाउंट मतलब एज पर अकाउंट डेबिटेड एज टू बी एडेड बैक एंड एज पर अकाउंट ओनली लेस बट एक्सक्लूडिंग रिवेल्युएशन का डेप्रिसिएशन ओके एंड देन इफ यू हैव डन ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम रिवेल्युएशन रिजर्व तो टू दी एक्सटेंट ऑफ दैट एक्स्ट्रा डेप्रिसिएशन यू कैन लेस एंड कैंसल द इफेक्ट and if you have not done automatically it will be zero and we will disallow the extra depreciation okay and other than that transfer to reserve other than revaluation if we talk about it transfer to reserve has to be added and transfer from reserve has to be subtracted that is very easy okay ye guidance not followed not followed ka effect i am telling you once again dekho initially we have done 1.5 year which results in mistake of 0.5 year Now there will be two people who have written 0.5 or who have not written 0.5. Written मतलब followed guidance note. Not written मतलब not followed guidance note. Those who have followed guidance note have rectified their profit. So add 1.5 in depreciation. Less one in depreciation and less 0.5 in depreciation. So full effect will get cancelled and their profit is rectified. So it is correct to cancel the full effect. Those who have not followed guidance note. That means they have not written any amount. That means their P and L account is showing a mistake of fifty thousand. So what will depreciation ka figure do? Add one point five as per books of accounts, less one as per books excluding revaluation, and less zero because there is no transfer from revaluation result. So net me point five has to be disallowed. Is this the first part of book profit clear to everyone? Okay, just. do one thing talk to people in your office who are also ca final students and their attempt is with you you all go to office no that is the reason you all don't sit after 10 o'clock any dummy article here don't worry you are not visible on camera aapka identity nahi likho any dummy article so go and talk to other people who are giving the attempt with you and who have completed minimum alternate tax in their respective classes ask them if they know 29 adjustments they will know there will be no class which will not cover the adjustments aisa koi nahi hai ask them if they know why this revaluation entry has come what is the logic what is this thing about guidance note see if they know it find out investigate thoda confidence aana chahiye na that you know better than others so that is only when you come to know what others know and what you know thoda investigation karo and thoda unko darao bhi hai la you to don't know anything and then you explain it to them mere pet pe laat mar ke you explain on my behalf ओके okay? चलो हैव वी क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड दीज फाइव पॉइंट्स मित्रों अभी तक वी आर डन विथ नाइन एंड नाइन एटीन पॉइंट्स वी स्टिल हैव इलेवन पॉइंट्स इन बुक प्रॉफिट कंप्यूटेशन आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके चलिए नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट जे सिक्स डिसम्बर नहीं सेवेंथ डिसम्बर है सेवेंथ डिसम्बर का इन्फॉर्म कर देना फॉर दो डोंट नो द लॉजिक हाँ सिक्स का ही कर लेना कोई भी कोई भी अटेम्प्ट का इन्फॉर्म कर लेना बस ओके नो वन नाइनटी फोर एच यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग नो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग कितना चल वो लेक्चर के बाद में यू स्टे बैक जब वो डाउट सेशन होता है ना तभी बैठ के डिस्कस करना ओके क्वांटिटी के ऊपर डिसाइड किया जाएगा व्हाट इज द वॉल्यूम दैट यू आर ब्रिंगिंग चलिए अभी पॉइंट पे ध्यान दे पॉइंट जे पॉइंट जे इज अ लिटल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू आई पॉइंट ए टू आई प्लीज फोकस केयरफुली they were outflows dividend tax but this allowed so add back matlab they were expenses jiska we don't want to give deduction so if you debit we add back now point j is different point j is an income it's not an expense it is an income which you should write in pnl account so if you write in pnl account has the impact come in profit परफेक्ट है देन नो नीड टू डू एनीथिंग बट इफ यू डोंट राइट इन पी एन एल अकाउंट दैट मीन हैव यू मेड अ मिस्टेक इन योर प्रॉफिट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मिस्टेक द प्रॉफिट हैज फॉलन तो यू रेक्टिफाई इट बाई पुटिंग इट ऑन दी एड साइड इफ यू सो पीजीबीपी कंप्यूटेशन ऑल्सो ना पार्टनरशिप में वो बुक प्रॉफिट कंप्यूटेशन देखा था एड साइड पे वी एड एक्सपेंसिस डेबिटेड बट डिस But we also add incomes which are taxable but not credited. No, so these first nine points are like disallowed expenses. But this tenth point is like it is an income, 
which you should write. Those who write the income year, then no need to do anything. But who is our target? Income which is not credited. Those who have not credited, uske liye we will be adding it then. Samjha? Kya? Balance in revaluation reserve in respect of asset sold. Balance in revaluation reserve in respect of asset sold. Ladies and gentlemen, balance in revaluation reserve in respect of asset sold. Sir, 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 ye kya hota hai? Sir, 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 suno. Sir, phod doge na table pe, then also you will not understand. Please allow me the chance to explain it numerically. I am creating ye wala, ye wala part, revaluation wala part and the depreciation wala part, I hope is clear guidance note wala. Now I am creating my second note, note number 2 for explaining point J on the ad side. Note 2, ठीक है? Note 2 में, first two entries are same. The transactions are same. मतलब क्या? I purchase an asset for 10 lakh. तो asset account debit to bank account 10 lakh. And revalued to 15. तो asset account debit to revaluation. These two entries are same. Everybody is with me? Okay. This time what I did, this asset is sold for rupees 13 lakhs. So understand the chronology. First transaction purchased for 10. Second revalued to 15. And then sold for 13. Are you, are you with me? Only 3 transactions. So no. Purchase price was 10. Selling price is 13. It's a profit of 3 lakhs. You have to agree. Inflow outflow compare karoge 10 ka expense and 13 ka sales. But when we sold our asset for 13 lakh, what is the book value of the asset? 15 because of revaluation. And what trouble will arise when we sell the asset for 13? Please pay attention. Bank account debit 13 lakhs. Any other amount you write here, it's a mistake. It has to be 13, 13, 13 because the asset is sold for 13. It cannot be anything. Correct? To asset account. Now this requires you to co go back to the first two entries. And observe carefully and tell me what is the value of asset in accounts right now. Purchased for 10 but what is the accounting value, the book value right now. 15 lakh rupees. Because we have done revaluation. So asset account may say you have to remove a 15 anything else is wrong bank account has to be debited by 13 asset account has to be credited by 15 because you have received 13 but value of your asset in accounts is only 15 you have to do it this way but this is creating trouble because debit and credit is not matching and whenever debit and credit is not matching so in accounts there is a dumping ground there was one dumping ground in splits villa also but right now we are talking about accounts Accounts make dumping ground there. People put the circle and do PNL account debit 2 lakhs. Because when nothing matches, send it to PNL. Effectively, can I say that you are booking a loss of 2 lakhs? Correct? But in reality, is that a loss? Now you will have to tell me. My asset was purchased for 10 and sold for 13. Matlab it's a profit of 3. A profit of 3 is booked as loss of 2. Matlab difference is of 5 lakh rupees. Profit of plus 3 is being shown as minus 2. You know why? Where is that 5 lakh lying? You want to guess? Where is that 5 lakh lying? That 5 lakh is lying in the revaluation account. At this stage, you should have passed one more entry. What? Is the asset sold? Yes. Are you removing the asset from accounts? Yes. If a particular asset is getting removed, so its revaluation cannot remain. Revaluation also has to go. You should have passed this entry. Revaluation reserve. Account debit to PNL account. If the asset is going away, to uska revaluation also has to go away. Samja? And now listen. PNL debit 2. 
बट क्रेडिट फाइव तो वॉट इज द नेट इफेक्ट इन पी एन एल थ्री इज दैट ऑल्सो द एक्चुअल प्रॉफिट तो नो प्रॉब्लम करेक्ट और नो नाउ लिसन देर इज एन असेसिव हु हैज पास्ट दिस एंट्री देर इज एन असेसिव हु हैज पास दिस एंट्री हैज द असेसिव रेक्टिफाइड दिस मिस्टेक ऑफ शोइंग टू का लॉस एंड मेड इट थ्री का प्रॉफिट तो हु एवर हैज पास्ट दिस एंट्री नो प्रॉब्लम बट देर इज अनदर असेसिव हु हैज नॉट पास दिस एंट्री इज देर अ मिस्टेक इन द प्रॉफिट का फिगर वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ दैट मिस्टेक फाइव कैसे पॉजिटिव थ्री को यू आर शोइंग नेगेटिव टू तो हाउ विल बी रेक्टिफाई दिस मिस्टेक एड एड कितना फाइव लैक्स देखो इन द प्रॉफिट का फिगर वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड माइनस टू तो एड फाइव माइनस टू विल बी रेक्टिफाइड Balance in revaluation reserve in respect of an asset which is sold. That revaluation का balance cannot remain. So no. Most importantly, if not credited, because will there be some assessors who have passed that second entry and they have corrected their profit figure? So we don't have to do anything. आप समझा क्या? Then we don't have to do anything. but but if you have not credited then we will record it is that clear so this is an income which is not credited that means whoever does not pass this second entry we will have to bring that impact of the second entry on the ad side clear with this we are done with 19 adjustments we are left with 10 more but good news ye hai that actually we are left with 5 more because इनकम विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड उसका एक्सपेंस विल बी एडेड इनकम सब्ट्रैक्टेड एक्सपेंस एडेड आर वी रेडी लेस सेट नाउ दीज फाइव विल गेट ओवर वेरी फास्ट ओके चल पॉइंट जे पॉइंट जे एनी रॉयल्टी इनकम दैट यू अर्न अंडर सेक्शन वन वन फाइव बीबीएफ वन वन फाइव बीबीएफ का एनी आइडिया रॉयल्टी पेटेंट्स के ऊपर रेजिडेंट ट्रू एंड फर्स्ट इन्वेंटर करेक्ट कैन द रेजिडेंट बी अ कंपनी आल्सो कंपनी इज अ ट्रू एंड फर्स्ट इन्वेंटर ऑफ पेटेंट एंड कंपनी का नेम इज रिटर्न इन द पेटेंट का रजिस्टर इट कैन बी समथिंग लाइक अ कोविड वैक्सीन ऑल्सो कंपनी का नाम इज रिटर्न तो कंपनी इज एलिजिबल फॉर वन बीबीएफ नाउ लुक एट देखो लॉजिक बता रहा हूं अदरवाइज यू टू सप्रैक्ट इट रॉयल्टी इनकम विल बी क्रेडिटेड इन पी एन एल अकाउंट इसका इफेक्ट विल कम इन प्रॉफिट अंडर एनटीटीआई तो वी कैन सेपरेटेड एंड अप्लाई स्पेशल रेट ऑफ टैक्स टेन परसेंट बट मैट में देर इज नो सच स्कोप फुल प्रॉफिट विल कम इन माई बुक प्रॉफिट एंड देर आफ्टर सफर कितना रेट ऑफ मैट फिफ्टीन परसेंट बट लव डू यू अंडरस्टैंड अप्लाइंग मैट ऑन दिस प्रॉफिट इज मेकिंग दैट नॉर्मल वाला टेन परसेंट इन रेलिवेंट येस और नो and therefore listen to what our government is saying listen carefully royalty which is eligible for 115 bbf is exempt in mat don't pay tax on this don't even pay 10% exempt and how are we exempting we have already credited in pnl account are mitro less side starts by saying if credited so what to do with that royalty less less matlab remove it from the book profit that means this royalty will not have any tax in mat exempt okay and if that royalty is subtracted now this is so easy to understand expenses incurred for earning royalty income under section 115 bbf are we granting you exemption of royalty income in mat if the income is exempt so obviously uska expenses are going to be disallowed needless to say so the beauty of these points are this only if the main beauty is this only that income will be subtracted uska expense will be added is that clear shall we next 
share of profit from AOP, point K, share of profit from AOP, which is exempt under section 86 of income tax law. Share of profit from AOP, which is exempt under section 86. Again, very easy point to understand. This is the profit and loss account. The company is a partner in a firm. So, company will get share of profit from firm also. Likewise, is it possible that the same company is also a member of AOP? So, as member of AOP, you will get share of profit from there also. Can I say our net profit figure will include both share of profit from partnership and share of profit from AOP? Firm has paid a tax. So, partner ke liye this income is exempt. Likewise, AOP has paid a tax. So, member ke liye share of profit is exempt and that is section 86 of Income Tax Act. Just like share of profit from partnership firm is exempt because firm has paid tax, share of profit from AOP will be exempt because AOP has paid tax. So, when we do our entity I computation, can I say we will less this also and this also because both are exempt. Firm and AOP both have paid tax. But when we do our book profit computation, unfortunately, this section here will allow us only share of profit from partnership firm because it covers only section 10. Even 10 AA is not covered, so 86 is out of question. But that will be unfair, no? That firm ka exemption we are giving, AOP ka exemption we are not giving. 10 may to it won't get covered. So how to cover it separately? I think you have understood the logic. So, both these profits are exempt in normal, we subtract in section 10 and section 86 respectively. But in MAT, we have to subtract within the 14 points. So, within 14 points, we are going to subtract it. Have you understood this now? Okay. So, just like we subtracted share of profit from partnership firm in one of the points, AOP KLA, we have a separate point. And if we have this, automatically, do you realize it is going to be expenses incurred for getting share of profit? from AOP which is exempt under section 86 because this is very simple if a particular income is getting subtracted so uska corresponding expense is going to get added back correct easy hai? Ho gaya? and I told you that apparently 10 are left but actually only 5 are left income subtracted expense added so mazak mazak mein after 18 4 more took place 19 adjustments 1 are 10 on the add side 9 on the less side, 4 more done, 2 income subtracted, unka expenses added, less side again, a CC is a foreign company, ha to foreign company ko to mat applicable anyways, nahi hai, ke hai, is foreign company liable for mat, yes it is, there are 3 companies which have immunity, yes DTAA and no PE, no DTAA, no registration and presumptive if opted. Otherwise, all foreign companies are liable for MAT. Foreign company in our country is earning income in the form of interest. It is earning income in the form of dividend. It is earning income in the form of royalty. It is earning income in the form of fees for technical services. You know the meaning of all these incomes. Or it is income, uh, or it is earning income in the form of capital gains. These five incomes where normal income tax rate can I say outside of MAT is the normal provision is less than 15%. What is the significance of 15% in book profit? That's the rate of MAT. But some of these incomes we have granted a concessional rate of tax. All those students who have studied section 115A, the most important section of special rates, will understand. Dhyan say yad karlo, yad try to recollect. Interest income, listen carefully, interest income, normally taxable at 20, but sometimes there was 5% and 4%. We are not going to subtract 20 wala, we are subtracting only which wala, less than 15 anything we will subtract, less than mat ka rate anything we will subtract. So 5% wala interest and 4% wala we will subtract. If I talk about royalty and FTS, this was to 10 only and 10 is less than 15, we will subtract. If I talk about dividend, company ka dividend is taxable at 20, but business trust ka dividend is taxable at 10. 20 wala we won't subtract, but 10 wala is less than 15, so we will subtract. Capital gain, 10% without indexation, non-resident, no indexation ka benefit, 10 is less than 15, subtract. 
In other words, wherever we have less than 15 for these incomes, we subtract. And the logic is clear and very, very simple. We have given you concessional rate, maybe interest KLA 5%, 4%, royalty FTS 10%, capital gain 10%. If for dividend also business plus 10%. Have we given that concessional rate to encourage? Yes, we have given concessional rate to encourage. But if a company is earning that, comment will become applicable and 15% will apply. Correct or no? So we don't want to apply MAT on those incomes where under normal provisions we have given you a better rate than this. Because if we apply MAT, supposingly take example in the royalty, what is normal rate of tax for royalty, foreign companies? 10%. Yes, same royalty ke upar, if we end up applying the MAT ka 15%, that means we are defeating 115A ka 10%. Is liye we can't apply. So whichever income under normal is a taxable at lesser than 15%, has to be subtracted but only if it is less than 15. If it is equal to 15, then not subtracted. Matlab, agar capital gain mein, any 111A ka capital gain is there. Is it less than 15? It is equal to 15. So that will not be subtracted. So that will not be subtracted. What will be subtracted? Only less than 15 will be subtracted. Matlab, 111A will, that's the only case where it is 15. In normal, otherwise it is either less or more. So less wala will get subtracted, equal to ya more wala will not get subtracted. But logic is clear, Mitro. So foreign company, if it has incurred expenses for earning same incomes, interest, royalty, FTS, where normal rate of tax is less than fifteen percent. If the income we are not taxing, so the expenses ka we will not give you any benefit. Are samjha kya? With this, ladies and gentlemen, mind says that there are four points remaining: two on the add side, two on the less side. Dekh lo, check karlo. Add side pe we have finished thirteen points. Fifteen hai to two remaining. Less side pe we have finished twelve points. Two remaining. Mind says 4. I have already told you that they will be effectively only 2 because income will be subtracted, expense will be added. But net may honestly, there, this is only one adjustment. Only one adjustment. One adjustment will convert into 4. Okay. Deep may you have to understand what is happening. Ekdam focus ke saath you have to understand what is happening. Then only you will follow what is taking place. We are talking about the second last point on the and side uh, on the less side sorry second last point on the less side okay if there is any notional profit in books of accounts at the time of exchange of shares for units of bt Notional profit in books of accounts at exchange of shares for units of BT. Explanation will take place. Note will be made just like we did for revaluation, the complicated part. But firstly understand what are we subtracting? Notional profit? Are we subtracting notional profit? So, come here and just understand that instead of profit, if it is notional loss in books of accounts at the time of exchange of shares for units of BT. Matlab loss will be added. Okay. Pura point same hai. Full point is same. But less side pe what are we writing? Profit. Only this word profit is being changed and it is becoming add side pe loss. So what are we doing to the profit? Less. And what are we doing to the loss? Add. Notional profit in books of accounts at the time of exchange of shares for units of business trust. Notional profit will be subtracted and notional losses will be added. Profit will be subtracted and loss will be added. That is clear corresponding relation between the less side and the add side. But sir, ye chal kya ra? Sir, exchange of shares in BT, BT, BT matlab sir? Business trust. Uh, sir, what does this mean? Chaliye. Let me explain. What does this mean? Thoda thoda dur ka memories has to be refreshed. I have invested in shares of a real estate company. 
तो वॉट एंट्री आई विल पास इफ आई बाई शेयर ऑफ टेन लैक डू यू अंडरस्टैंड माई जर्नल एंट्री विल बी सिंपल शेयर अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक अकाउंट टेन लैक और सिंस द डे आई परचेज दीज शेयर एवरी डे आई स्टैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द मीर एंड अब्यूज माई सेल्फ गिव गालीज टू ब्लडी डैश 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 अमित नहीं होता क्लास में तो आई वुड है ब्लैंक्स ऑल्सो यू ब्लडी डैश 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 वॉट काइंड ऑफ अ कंपनी यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन नो सेल्स नो प्रॉफिट नो बोनस नो डिविडेंट आई एम रिग्रेटिंग माई डिसीजन कंपनी इज इन लॉसेस एट दिस स्टेज सडनली लाइक एन एंजल लाइक अ मसी कम्स टू अस विथ फंड्स यू वॉन्ट फंड्स हु विल प्रोवाइड फंडिंग टू रियल एस्टेट कंपनी आर ई आई टी एंड हु विल प्रोवाइड फंडिंग टू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कंपनी इन विट द आर ई आई टी और इन विट इज टूगेदर नोन एज द बिजनेस ट्रस्ट इट इज रेडी टू प्रोवाइड फंडिंग बट विद अ कंडीशन कंडीशन क्या गिव मी कंट्रोल ऑफ द कंपनी कंपनी शुड बिकम स्पेशल पर्पज वहीकल then only I, the REIT gets benefit on dividend from SPV and interest from SPV which is exempt. if it is non SPV तो it will become taxable at MMR. इसीलिए it wants control. लेकिन control देने के लिए you will have to surrender your shares. but don't worry. in exchange you will be getting when you give your shares. तो so do you understand? you will get units in exchange of shares. do you understand this? तो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल डेबिट वॉट कम्स इन यूनिट अकाउंट डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट वॉट गोज आउट यूनिट अकाउंट डेबिट टू शेयर दिस इज इजी यू हैव टू अग्री दैट शेयर अकाउंट हैज टू बी क्रेडिटेड बाई टेन बिकॉज वी हैव टू रिमूव द फुल अमाउंट फ्रॉम अकाउंट इट हैज टू बी टेन इट कैन नॉट बी एनी अदर फिगर शेयर अकाउंट का टेन ओनली यू हैव टू राइट बट यूनिट का प्लीज लिसन एज पर सेबी रेगुलेशन the units have to be recorded at their nav their market price which may not be same as the shares ka value wo bhi book ka value i hope you remember that this was purchase price therefore this is book value sunk cost units are being recorded at 11 lakh rupees because that is their market price to mismatch in debit credit this you can't make 11 shares ka account has to be removed by 10 only so now the debit credit is not matching गैस करो डंपिंग ग्राउंड क्या है अकाउंट्स में व्हाट दी एस 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 डन इज एडजस्टेड दी अमाउंट इन पी एन एल अकाउंट सो डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दी एंट्री वी हैव एक्सचेंज अवर शेयर्स वी गॉट यूनिट्स शेयर्स हैज टू बी क्रेडिटेड बाय दिस यूनिट्स हैव बीन क्रेडिटेड बाय एन तो इफेक्टिवली वी आर बुकिंग अनोशनल प्रॉफिट ऑफ वन लैक नाउ लिसन टू वॉट आई एम आस्किंग दिस विल रिक्वायर यू टू ब्रिंग बैक नॉलेज ऑफ बिजनेस प्लस का चैप्टर वेन वी एक्सचेंज शेयर फॉर यूनिट्स there is no profit or loss as per tax because the investor had no control over the decision profit or loss arises when ultimately in future one day we will sell the units and i had taught you the calculation also selling price of units ke samne we will subtract the cost price of our shares so till now as per tax there is no profit tax me there is no profit at exchange there will be no profit no loss no profit no loss but accounts are showing profit is my account showing profit if i start with my net profit as per profit and loss account do you understand my net profit as per profit and loss account is showing profit of 1 lakh rupees but my question is do i have to pay tax on this 1 lakh no i don't have to why i don't have to because it is only a notional profit profit will arise at the time of actual sale of units so how to remove this profit from accounts now go and read what you have written on the less side books are showing profit but tax may we don't have to pay tax to so remove the profit samjha we will bring profit only when our units are sold ultimately uske pehle no profit no loss no profit no loss Have you understood the less वाला entry? तो so simple है If the units का NAV was नाइन lakh, तो we would have done units account debit नाइन PNL account debit वन lakh. ये तो NAV पे depend करता है ना balancing figure is profit or loss. Are we paying tax on the profit? नहीं. तो loss also will not be allowed. तो loss को we have written on the 
एड साइड दैट इज तो विजिबल नो इफ यू अंडरस्टूड दी प्रॉफिट वाला ट्रीटमेंट तो लॉस वाला ट्रीटमेंट विल ऑल्सो बी क्लियर एवरी वन क्लियर सो वॉट एव बी सपरेक्टेड नोशनल प्रॉफिट बिकॉज इट इज नॉट एक्चुअल प्रॉफिट एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी हैव एडेड नोशनल लॉस करेक्ट है चलिए बट सुनो सेकेंड लास्ट एडजस्टमेंट इज नॉट येट ओवर इसमें एक पार्ट टू भी है and if part 2 is there on the left side it will be be there on the right side also no yaar hello notional profit left side pe we are subtracting profit at the time of change in carrying value of the units notional profit is being subtracted at the time of change in carrying value of units dekho pehla wala line that we did, we, we we have written it appeared very complicated but once we did that example with numbers it became easy no this will also become easy don't worry but you participate a little and tell me add side pe what do i write less side pe if you have written notional profit add side pe what will you write notional loss at the time of change in carrying value of units so once again profit is being subtracted पूरा स्टेटमेंट ऑन दी एड साइड इज सेम एक्सेप्ट दैट इयर इट वॉज प्रॉफिट एड साइड पे इट विल बी लॉस एंड वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड यू जस्ट हैव टू फोकस विथ मी ऑन दी न्यूमेरिकल एग्जाम्पल कम यर यू रिमेंबर द स्टोरी परचेज शेयर फॉर टेन कन्वर्टेड इन टू यूनिट बुक्स वर शोइंग प्रॉफिट बट वी विल नॉट रेकॉर्ड इट सो वी रिमूव अवर प्रॉफिट नाउ वी हैव विच एसेट विथ अस यूनिट वॉट इज देर वैल्यू इन अकाउंट इलेवन Is it possible that the next balance sheet date, the units' ka value has become thirteen lakhs? NAV has become thirteen lakhs, and if NAV has become thirteen lakhs, can I say we have to record our units at that value because every regulations we are following? So we have to increase value of units, and I hope you understand asset ka value increases by debiting it. Kitna? Two. because we have to make 13 and 11 is already there in that account i hope you are understanding 11 is already there in the ledger no 2 theek hai units account debit 2 lakhs but mitro credit kya credit what you have not done any transaction so once again dumping ground 2 lakh is your account showing profit now it should get easy for you is your account showing profit yes is there any profit as per tax no profit as per tax will arise only when we sell our units before that no profit if account show profit eliminate it notional profit at the time of change in carrying value eliminate the profit and is it possible that 11 had become 6 so it is showing loss of 5 eliminate that loss go add side profit ko you eliminate by lessing loss ko you eliminate by adding correct or no mitro correct second line of understood second second last point ka second line understood this second last point has got a third line also but two lines are clear matlab short mein summarize karu to unit sale ke pehle any profit or loss eliminate okay finally profit we are subtracting profit in books of accounts at the time of actual sale of units i will explain this also with numbers mitro but this time you will tell me what do i write on the ad side and by the way we are still on the second last point the last point abhi baki hai but second last point has three lines please tell me what will we write on the ad side can i say just like we have written profit in books of accounts yahan pe it can be loss in books of accounts at the time of actual sale loss in books of accounts at the time of actual sale correct hai correct hai let me explain with numbers this time we are doing actual sale of units please listen when actual sale of units takes place does profit or loss as per tax arise yes it does but question ye hai ke will our accounts show the same profit as per tax नहीं एंड दैट आई विल प्रूव विथ नंबर प्लीज पे अटेंशन वॉट इज द एनएवी ऑफ यूनिट नाउ इन माई अकाउंट 
13. These units are sold for 15 lakhs. Modi ji. First of all, do you realize bank account debit will be 15? Any other amount is wrong. 2. Units account. Ye answer do please. It has to be 13 because that's the present book value. And thus, easy question, but Patani, sometimes students know their attention is not there, so they don't answer. What is the profit in accounts? 2 lakhs. Is this also the profit as per tax? Naina Mitro. Then do you remember that business trust ke chapter mein sabse last mein what we had done? Calculation of profit as per tax. Selling price of units. Kitna? 15 minus cost of shares because this is where profit in tax comes. Before today, I had only purchased shares made an investment. What was that purchase price of shares? 10. So, profit as per accounts. Two and profit as per tax five. Mitro, Mitro, please understand what is happening in your Zindagi over here. Please understand. We have sold our units. Once we sell our units, we have to show profit or loss as per tax and we have to pay tax on the profits. But question ye hai ke the profit or loss that our accounts will be showing that profit or loss will not be matching with the profit or loss that we have as per tax. What is the profit that our accounts are showing? 2. But what is profit as per tax? 5. You understand this? So, it's simple. Hai. Accounts ka profit eliminate. Karo. So, at least this third line you have understood. What to do? Profit in books of accounts. Less. In other words, can I say together the target year in this second last point is whatever your books are showing, remove it. If it is showing profit, remove it. If it is showing loss, to add karke remove it. But remove the treatment from books of accounts. Books are showing two ka profit, remove that two ka profit. But is there profit as per tax also this time? What is that profit as per tax? Five. So, ladies and gentlemen, last point on the ad side, actual profit at the time of sale of units. So, no, notional profit we have to remove. So, we were minusing. But actual profit we have to bring. So, where are we writing actual profit? Ad side. Pe. Books may say impact remove. But tax ka impact bring. So books wala amounts we are removing. Profit by minusing. Loss by adding. But tax ka impact we have to bring. How to bring a profit? By adding it. So notional profit remove. And actual profit add. That is the connection between the second last point and the last point. Understood add side ka last point. And such may I will get convinced that you have understood. Only if you are able to tell me the last point on the less side. Because last, the less side ka bhi last point is remaining. If you are able to tell me this, so I will really get convinced that all four adjustments about business trust are over. Okay. Yes, please. Actual loss. Matlab suno. As per accounts nahi. As per accounts to we will disallow. Deko, ye wale case mein. If I had sold, not for 15, but for 9 lakhs. So, accounts would have shown loss of 4. But actual loss is not 4. It is only 1 because purchase price was 10. So, loss as per accounts, to we will disallow. But loss as per tax ka benefit we have to give. So, actual loss at the time of sale of units. Actual profit will be added and actual loss will be subtracted. Is that understood? Ladies and gentlemen, Devyo and Sajjano, boys, girls and Mitro. Congratulations, Abhinandanam, Badhai Ho, because that was your book profit ka 29 adjustments and that is the end of our book profit computation. Sir, what are we left with in the chapter?
After book profit, we give a heading. Points to be noted. There are about 10-12 points. Some case laws will get covered in that. There is a concept called mat credit that will get covered over there. And some companies who have adopted in days, so they need to do some more adjustments that will also get covered in these 10-12 points. Everything theory will get over. But just now we have finished book profit calculation for our own personal satisfaction that we are deco, doing it here by, by doing the theory. It's one thing and are we able to solve the sum? And if I say that solving of sums is ridiculously easy, am I actually giving you true information or just kidding? That you will come to know only when we do a couple of questions to give you real confidence. So our chronology will be, we will do a couple of questions, whatever time we have for the today's lecture. We'll do some questions. Once we get done, we have about one hour ka theory in that one hour, all the general points will be left. But maybe we will finish the remaining wala questions and Matt ka chapter will get over. So quickly without wasting any time, please open your question book.